show, baby. Take it away. Hi, guys. Uh, I'm sure you've seen the news by now. I just wanted to start this uh, first interview here with my brother who... Can you hear me? Yeah. Repeat? Yeah. Hi, guys. I'm sure you've seen the news by now. Um, doing an interview first with my brother who negotiated me out. Because I, I saved him. I know you guys all think that this was fake. This was not fake. You guys just hate the word YouTuber so much that you believe a kidnapper over a YouTuber. But we're here. Imagine that. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, that's why. They saw him post a video, and they they're like, oh, look, it's fake. Yeah, when there's 10 the guys The most wanted them. guy. <laughs> FBI, everything online. I never there's, even thought of that. So we're here. We're doing the first interview with my brother who sacrificed so much of his time, uh, so much of his company. I just have the other side of the story that isn't inside the cage. He's got the inside story. I've got the entire world outside story. Yeah, because I was literally locked texting him when I could, and that's about it. So we're drinking some whiskey. We're enjoying this first interview here. There's a trailer coming out on Sunday that shows you guys all the footage that actually happened, so you guys can stop asking questions if it's fake or not. Snuck footage from inside, snuck whatever. But today we're going to be speaking and just corroborating stories from my end and his end. We have not talked. I just saw him like 10 minutes ago. We haven't spoken. I've been home for about 36 hours now. We haven't spoken yet for this purpose, and uh, we're getting a little hammered and enjoying some nice whiskey. And I would like to start before we say anything. I know everyone put in efforts, but glory be to God because God saved me. I know you did your part. I know everybody did their part. But when you're locked in a cage in the desert, it, literally with people who worship Satan, okay? I actually worship Satan. They worship Satan. I they do voodoo rituals. They, they, That's crazy. That's crazy. There's more I'll tell you. These guys have superpowers. You're not going to believe me. You're going to think I'm crazy, but these guys have superpowers, okay? Um, glory be to God. Go ahead and say whatever you want. Well, I was just going to say, like, I think where we all want to start, because I don't even know this story, too. I don't know any of this. Um, so I don't know how you actually got kidnapped. I Let's take it from there, because I can jump in. When you first communicated with the outside world, you called me from, from your phone, kidnapped, and there's just, like, nine dudes with guns standing around you. And I'm like, oh, this is actually not a joke. I hope it's a – I hope I, – I was kind of like, I hope it's not a joke, because I'm going to be fucking pissed if this is a joke. And then, like, by day two, I was like, okay, we're definitely not joking. I wish it was. <laughs> we're definitely not joking. Uh, so take us back. Like, first of all, everyone thinks you're an idiot for seeking into Haiti. We all, I think I think the whole world agrees you're an idiot for doing it. I think I even I know I'm an idiot. Like, yeah. I even say that in the video. Um, but I had a fixer from there who has been doing gang stuff, has taken so many YouTubers into the gang places, and we had confirmed an interview with Barbecue. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna come. Like for sure, like or yes. like someone told you. No, barbecue speaker. He's got a guy who speaks for him, like his okay. secretary of press, confirmed with us for sure. Yes, he told barbecue speak with this foreigner. It will be good for you. That was a huge question we had because yes. I was like, I was telling dad before I, was I like, even came in. Okay, I was telling dad because he kept saying that. I'm like, dad, he probably like got scammed as an interview and then went in and got kidnapped. No, no, for sure. Okay, with barbecue's secretary of press, he had confirmed. We're allowed. We're safe passage. So yeah, the, yeah. the plan was to explore the nice side, the north first. I explored the nice side. And then that video you guys all saw in the hotel, that was the last video. I upload everything the day I record it in case of a situation like this because the kidnapper stole my SD card. So I upload everything the day I record it so my editor has it. So that video you guys saw in the hotel was the last video that I posted before our road trip. I didn't post it publicly. Nobody knew I was in Haiti except for some of my close friends. Not a single person publicly knew. I never had posted it anywhere. Like, so many comments said, oh, he deserves it. He posted his location publicly to the world. I didn't. I didn't post anything. For 48 hours, off, I was off social media before I got kidnapped. But point is, we rented a car, and we drove from Cap Haitian to, to Port-au-Prince, which is where all the gangs are. Is this the car that crashed? or is This, this, is, this, this is, is the, the rental, car. the car rental. This is the one that just gave yeah, us. Yeah, this is not the yeah. car that crashed in Dominican. Okay, okay. That was on the way to the border. But do people know that story? I think that's a sick one. That's, he, that was God telling you don't do this. I believe the opposite. I don't know. I believe that was God telling me do this. I got your back. Because yeah. that, that. I was like, that's a sign. Get his ass out of Haiti That car right accident, now. the car accident was totaled. The The driver was drunk. The taxi driver was drunk. I didn't know that. I was share, asleep. Share my Share my phone. Share my phone screen real quick. The taxi driver was drunk. Yeah. I didn't know that. I was asleep. Thank God I hadn't lost the weight I lost while kidnapped. Because the uh, my stomach protected me. The seatbelt 
took the entire blow. Dude, he drove into one of those like big ass metal like trucks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Like the ones that carry cement, not yeah. the not the 18 oh, wheelers. Like the box trucks. Yeah, like yeah. the box trucks that are metal. We should have been dead. Untouched. And you're I, in the front seat, right? I was in the passenger seat. I woke up in a scream and then I noticed that we crashed. I take my seatbelt off. I stand. I make sure nothing's wrong with me. I look and there was like not even the bruise hadn't even shown up yet. And I just I felt no pain, assuming the adrenaline, but it had taken time for the bruise to build up. And I was like, all right, I'm good. God's protecting me. I got to make my way to the border still. God's pro That's how I saw it. You yeah. saw it as a sign of turn around. I saw it as I'm untouched in an accident that I should have died. No, I saw it as like, this is God literally putting a box truck in front of your face to stop you from getting into the country. And you were like, I'm still going to go do it. You know what I mean? Like, it just like, it was insane. Like, do, you, do they see the car right now? You want me to flip it? Get crazy. Look at this car, guys. Like, who survives this accident? Untouched. Yeah, that's God telling you stop right here. It's I not saw the you, opposite, bro. I don't know, bro. This was fucking crazy to me. I was shocked. You guys can stop sharing my phone. Uh, even even then, so so when I get to the border, the border was closed, but there was a group of like corrupt border guards and UN UN United Nations employees that told me like follow us, and they took me through like the jungle a little bit. Uh, you guys will see in the video. I don't want to speak too much on that, but at the end of that, I saw a white dove. Like, after that entire trip. So, I'm like, all right, God's still working with me, you know? So, anyways, we record that. We go to the hotel. Let's go back to the car rental. So, the car rental, we leave at 3 a.m. from the hotel. Seven-hour road trip to Port-au-Prince. We get to the top of, like, the mountain. It's called um, Mont Cabri. And this is you going from the north to, to Port-au-Prince. Yeah, from the okay. north to the south. You guys can share my screen again. I'm tracking his location, by the way. So, ever since the car accident... I'm like every three hours watching your location because I'm like some shit's going I down. I share my location just, with my family. Yeah, I just felt it. I'm like something's going down. So I tr every few hours I was screenshotting your location. So this one's like right between you being in Cap Haitian all the way down to Port-au-Prince. Yeah. Like you were like, so when you're like, I'm in the jungle, I'm like, is this what he's talking about? Because like this was the last location I pinged before you pinged your location while kidnapped. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. As of this, this point, when you announce your kidnapping, when we get to it, I thought you were here. Because that uh, was a last the last known location. In the middle of the mountain. In the middle of the junk. I was like, so I'll get to it. But when I imagine trying to assemble mercenary teams to get you out. And we're just like in the like I'm like, I have nothing except we're here somewhere. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's how we started. Anyways, yeah. like, jump into it. So. Did your friend, the first translator you sent, did he send you the location I sent him? I already had your location. Oh, okay. We're yeah, I, I, from dad. Yeah, I'll okay. tell you. I'll I assume, tell you. I assume Not so. from dad. Yeah, me and Sammy tag team that shit. We oh, okay. had you, oh yeah, Sammy has my location. Anytime you were ping, we had notifications on, like everything. Yeah, I will give this as a warning to anybody watching: your family and your close friends should have your location. You should always give them. We would have been screwed without that. We would have been screwed if we didn't have my location. Um, so so we get to that mountain, and there's a checkpoint of BSAP police officers. That's the branch of police officers in uh, in Haiti. There's a branch of police officers. They stop us, you know, and we pay them some money. And then uh, we take a photo. We took a video with them. Uh, we have the video because Sean took it on his phone. I took it off my camera, but they stole my SD cards. So we have the video. It'll be in the trailer. A group of police officers. Then we keep moving. We have safe passage. We've confirmed with the guy. Uh, Barbecue's guy. Barbecue's guy. Paper or something or what? A WhatsApp message? Don't tell me. That's how you thought you were getting through this lawless no, no, no. country ran with gangs with? Listen, he sends him the plate. Check he sends him the plate of the car, etc. Still, bro. Come I know, on. I know. But what we get to the, we get to the bottom of the mountain before the guy had responded back. He yeah. had confirmed that we're gonna be good, but before he had responded back to the plate of the car. That was the first mistake. I had no internet this whole time. I got no internet. My the I have yeah, internet. Your, your location's not even pinging. In every country, but Haiti, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. Um we get to the bottom of the mountain, and these eight dudes with AKs pull up to us in the car. No way. Yeah, eight dudes. They run at the car. Okay, so we stop. They run yelling. They, we stop. What are you In that moment, like right there, nothing, like try to think back to that moment. You knew nothing else, just that? I'm still calm. Of course, but what are you, what's going through your head? You're like, what's Sean, happening right now? Sean told me, leave my bag, leave everything, like don't film, do not have a camera even anywhere. So I left my bag on the ground. This is the first time my passport's not in my pocket. In yeah. any of my travels, yeah. this is the first time I let go of my stuff. Yeah. This is the first time it all got stolen. Yeah. So... They walk us into a, 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 a the, the guy, the first guy who walks up the gun, he goes, oh, I know you, to Sean, because he's done a lot of YouTube videos. Oh, okay, I thought to you. Okay. No, he goes, oh, I know you. Uh, I like your videos. 
And then uh, well, he's pointing a gun at yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, no, he put it down. He put the. Okay. But then the second chief of yeah. La Mont Saint Joux, so the the guy second in charge, goes, "Now nah, we're gonna keep him." So they walk us right there where they had stopped us. They have this trailer inside, like a cement compound with barbed wire. They throw us in a trailer. Literally, it's just it's a trailer. It's a dark trailer. And there's two closed, guys. Closed or closed, open? Closed. And there's closed trailer? Yeah. Stop it. Like some human trafficking shit? Y- yeah, yeah. Stop it. Not a cargo, but a trailer. At this point, you knew you were getting kidnapped, right? Yeah, For at this sure. point, I'm assuming. <laughs> I'm assuming. It's not 100% confirmed. <laughs> Ten but guys with guns pulled that out of a I'm, car, I'm, I'm, put I'm us I'm in assuming, a dark trailer. I'm assuming. I'm assuming I'm kidnapped. There's a, there's a, <laughs> so we're sitting. Sean's sitting. Imagine like a, like a thin trailer, like an RV. Sean's sitting on the table. Okay, feet still on the ground, but you know, leaning on the table. And I'm standing in the corner. And there's two guys that are clearly tweaking off crack. One with a FAMAS. He's sitting in the corner of the room. Stop. And they're pointing them at he's you? He's sitting in the corner. Of the, not at me. I'm good. Yeah. He's sitting in the corner of the room pointing him at Sean. A FAMAS. Finger on the trigger. Okay. And the other guy's standing in the doorway holding a shotgun. Stop. At Sean. So I'm standing as far as I can so the shotgun pellets don't hit me in case they're going to shoot him. I know I'm an asset. I'm white. Yeah. I'm a blanc. Yeah. So I know they're probably not going to hurt me. They get nothing out of hurting me. But they might kill Sean here. So, you know, we're, we're, we're both calm. We've both been in uh, situations like this before. Three and a half hours go by, and then uh, the king comes. The king is what they call him. Lamont saint Joux, the guy you guys saw. Share my phone. The this guy is, you guys saw. This is him. So just for context. And, you know, I didn't discover this till after the first call. So about 12 hours in, I knew who I was dealing with. But this is him, wanted by the FBI. I, I need to address something with you that I'll never let you live down. Well, now that I understand the story, it's a little easier, but I was laughing my ass off. He weighs 150 pounds. I was like, you let this guy kidnap you? <laughs> this is fucking embarrassing. I don't care how many of them there were. He's 150 pounds, bro. What are you doing? So I, I did some research on this guy, and I'll get into it when I get to that part because I learned a lot about him, so I knew how to play this game. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. But I'll, I'll get into that. I'll get into that. But, but this is the guy we're dealing with. So, like, it's not like this made-up guy. Like, in 12 hours in, I find out that he's, like, the most wanted guy in Haiti. His brother's already been arrested by the U.S. government in a federal prison. Yeah. Like, I, I, yeah, I, the I'll, previous leader. Yeah, I'll yeah. get into it. It's it's deep. I'm like, yeah. holy shit, we're dealing with some good shit. So turn this off. Um, So they open the trailer door, and in front of the trailer door is 20 gang members and the king. Uh, the king is La Mont saint So anytime I say king here, I learn to call him king while inside. Anytime I say king, that's who I'm speaking about. So the king is right there. And they're like laughing, like like they got good bait, you know. They got a prize on their hands. Yeah, yeah. So in my head, what did they know about you? Nothing yet. Okay, they nothing just knew yet. Sean. They, no, one guy knew Sean. Okay, but that means they all know Sean. Do you, not like they don't know him, but they know his value is what I'm trying to say. Like, yeah. So so at this point, I assume we're gonna be kidnapped, or or you still haven't the shotgun to the chest and the famas just. You can still talk your way out. I've been in situations in like like Brazil where they walk us into an alley. I got to talk my way out. Usually showing them other stuff I've done works. Yeah, yeah. So so I'm like talking our way out, but this is the befriending process. It's either going to go good or it's going to go bad. You have to you have to speak well with them. If you're getting angry, you're getting you're going to just going to get hit. What are you going to you're going to win against 20 guys with guns? Yeah, yeah. there's there's no chance. out of There's no chance. It's a it's a game of survival. So. I show them some stuff. That, uh, I'm like, hey, guys, this is what I do. You know, we're both journalists. We're here to interview barbecue. Uh, they know we're here. Um, let me tell you something. These guys are five gangs in Haiti, five leaders, and barbecue is the strongest leader who put them on an alliance that says, like, we live together. Vive ensemble. Li- live together. But they're all their own gang leaders. It's like the United Nations, but of gangs. So they still do their own thing. Even with orders from him, they still do their own thing. They still have their own ego. They still have their own, you know. They're their own entities. They're their own entities. It's like Apple and Microsoft can get along, but, like, they can also disagree and exactly. not do what the other person exactly. says. Exactly. Right. So so we're speaking to them. Uh, I show them some old photos and, and, and whatever. Sean thinks that was a mistake because he said I speak too much. I believe at this point I'm not worried about the ransom. I'm worried about survival. At this point I'm trying to just survive, Okay. Um, yeah, so you're like painting your value exactly. Okay, like yeah, yeah. here I am. Here's the, here's what I provide. As yeah, well. like, I provide this. We can you know. Yeah, yeah, we can make we can film something. Whatever. This could be beneficial for you guys. Exactly. Dude, at one point I was, I was with Gabe in the backyard, and I was like, you know how I spin this? I was like, I'll just tell them. Like I was like, look at this problem. I have to deliver cash, all this stuff. I'm like, 
I'll just start an underground system here for them. I'll tell them, let go of my brother. I'll collect all your cash here for all your kidnappings, and I'll send them over in cash for you, and now you can negotiate more for the rest of your life. <laughs> I was like, hey, give me my brother. I was like, if I bring this plan, I might convince them into it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, just, and just not do it. But, like, I thought like it was a good plan. Anyways, good and so And so he goes, yeah, well, I mean, I don't really need views. And he, like, shows me his TikTok. He gets a million views of video. Stop it. The gang leader? The gang leader. He gets a million views You're of video. Lying, bro. He goes, I don't, we, we don't need international, you know. He's that powerful there? He gets a million yeah, views he gets from a million, like Haitian he people? Posts, just, they all watch it. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. We're talking about Le Mans saint Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's wild. Um, I had his TikTok saved I because I remembered the username. It was like user 2311 something. So I found it and then matched it to the follower. But it got banned. I had the exact link to it. It either got banned or he changed the name after he released me. Yeah. It'll be in the videos. Everything will be in the videos. Um, but then they take us to the side where they go speak in the corner for like 20 minutes. We're just there standing. And then they come back and he goes, what did you have? Where's all your stuff? I go, I mean, you guys took our car. I have no idea. You've had our car for the last three and a half hours. He goes, how much cash did you have? I said, uh, three and a half thousand us dollars. And he like double checks and he goes 3.7 K. And then he goes, uh, what about this phone? And he pulls out my iPhone. I don't have my iPhones right now because they're seized by the FBI. When I entered, they took all my phones. They took everything. I've had a phone for the last three days. Um, Which is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know. It's funny because for the last few days, you'd say jokes, and I'd be like, don't joke. Like, someone could look at your text. Yeah. But you're like, what are they going to do? How are they going to look at my text? And then they just took your phones from me. <laughs> you land and they're like, if you want to go to Atlanta, you give us your phone. And phones. they're like, you can't, you can't have a lawyer. If you come in globally, internationally, you're not entitled to a lawyer. They throw you in a room with no cameras and they pretend like they don't know what's going on. They're like, oh yeah, this is just a random selection. Well, why are the other 150 people that are randomly selected still in line? And then I got taken in right away. Like, anyways, back yeah. to the back. Anyways. To <laughs> um, so, so. He pulls out my phone. He goes, iPhone 15. Wow, I have two phones. I got a personal and a work phone. And so I, I tell him, I'm like, uh, he goes, it's the new one? I was like, uh, or his guys say, yeah. He goes, it's nice. I was like, look, you can have it as a gift. You know, and take the three and a half K and whatever you took. I just need my laptop and this phone, the other phone that's in your hand. I won't even consider that you stole it from us. I'll consider it a gift for a passage. And he like starts laughing. He's like, I like this guy, you know, like I was starting to reword the narrative. This isn't a kidnapping. This is, this is a gift. Okay. I was going to reset the phone for him and give it to him. I said, this is a gift. Let us go. I'm trying to reword the narrative here so that maybe he's like, but okay. What you're also doing is telling him that that stuff is insignificant, which means you have a lot more negotiation. I know you're not thinking about it in the moment because right. you're not thinking about money. You're thinking about my life in this moment. Can I get out now? Exactly. Without going in? Exactly. But like even just psychologically uh, to him, I'm sure he was like, oh, he doesn't care about 3,500 bucks, iPhones and a laptop. Maybe, but in my head, it's already his anyway. Yeah. I'm just trying to minimize the damages by keeping my phone, which I need for like, you know, two factor codes or, or whatever. So I can log into my stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, Cause if he takes that, I'm locked out of all my social media. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm trying to minimize that damage. Makes sense. So what happens from there? So he laughs. He starts liking us. And they teach me. They go, blanc, which means white. They go, blanc, posé. And then I'm like, okay. Like, he's like, chilling, chilling. They have one guy who speaks some English. His name's Tilapli. He's the second in charge. Is that the guy that was talking to me? Uh, no, that's Emerson. <laughs> okay. That's Pop Shove. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's the guy who actually speaks English. This, this guy speaks a few words. Mm -hmm. Step by step, he says. So he goes, pose. He's, uh, I'm like, okay. He goes, no, say it. Pose. I'm like, okay. Mue pose. That means I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Yeah. He goes, yeah, blanc, relax. Mue pose. I'm like, okay, mue pose. So now I'm starting to participate in the culture. And they tell me, they teach me, they go, say this, la mon saint -Jou. I'm like, la mon saint -Jou, what does that mean? They're like, that's my name. Like the king says yeah. that. Like that, la mon saint -Jou. I'm like, Okay, so I learned that first. And then he goes, paganjou, bayou plein. Braquille, pape, vrape. That's his like, that's his, his like chant. catchphrase, yeah, his yeah. chant, you know, and it means. So, as you said in all the videos, you have yeah. Yeah, it, it means he's. So, La Mont Saint Jou means immortal. It means death without days, which I, I in my head translates to immortal, I yeah, guess. Like, that's sense. what he's trying to say. And then, Paganjou, Bayou, Plein, Braquille, pape, vrape means like he's not afraid of heat. 
It's a voodoo saying. Yeah. So that's the first thing I learned to please him. Yeah. I'm like, okay, he's starting to like me. I got to please him to minimize damages here. Yeah, yeah. I'm if not he likes trying to get you, tortured. then like you're high, highly likely to like survive more. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. um, so all these people online. What's Sean doing this whole time? Sean this whole time is translating when I need him to, and he's speaking what he needs, but Sean speaks much less than me. I'm playing the game of good hospitality. Yeah, he's playing the game of like, don't give information yeah, away. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sean is like a secret agent, James Bond. Like, when we're inside, he came up with some crazy escape plans. He's nuts. Like, <laughs> seriously, <laughs> one day he created this escape plan that made so much sense. I'll get to when we get there. Yeah. Um, That's crazy. I didn't even know you guys were planning on, like, an escape yeah, plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean, Sean, was, my mind once. Sean was James Bonding, and he's getting phone calls from the speaker that gave us passage. Mm. And he, La Mont Saint-Jean is not letting us answer. He said, don't answer. Yeah. He sees it. He sees him calling 10, 20 times a day. And he won't let us answer. So then they decide. They say, okay, get in the car. So they teach me those few words. Um, I made sure to learn them. I made sure I learned that catchphrase because every time the king would come by, I would salute him and I would say the saying to make him happy. Yeah. So so they toss us in the car. And I can already see my laptop's gone from the bag. The bag is still in the car. I can see my laptop's gone from the bag. I can see a bunch of other stuff are gone from the bag. I would see one of the gangsters wearing my headphones already. He doesn't even know that they work Bluetooth. He just plugged them in with the wire. Uh, it's like the Sony <laughs> XM4s, yeah, the yeah. $400 headphones. They're great headphones. Yeah. He plugs them in with a wire. So they Did you tell him? Do you huh? tell him? Hell no, no, no. So off. I realized I was speaking too much at the beginning because yeah. I started like trying to assist them. Maybe we could be of value and they would like, like yeah, us yeah. and let us go. But yeah. then I realized if you speak too much, they're just going to keep you there as a slave to teach them things. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, that's what most of the guys there are. They're prison, e prison escapes. Really? Yeah, all the people that work in his compound are prison escapees that he broke out, and now they're slaves. So they throw us in the car. We drive maybe three, five, three to five minutes from the uh, from the place we were at, and uh, they loot a house on the way. These guys are savages. They take us. They park the cars. We're in a convoy of four cars, okay? They leave... One guard next to us, a little 15-year-old kid with a pistol, extended mag, he slept. They all went inside to loot the house. They broke the cages off the house. They went inside. They start walking out with blenders and shit. Uh, I'm watching a gangster walk out with a blender. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, Come on, bro. So they, they would loot everything, bro. They, like, they'd come out with like a flashlight like a, on their head, you know, that the miners, you, anything they could see, they would loot. The kid slept with a gun. He slept next to us. We could have taken it right there, killed him. But then it's like, okay, what are you going to do? Go that way, which is their territory. There's no way. There's no way. Chance of survival. You're going to die now for sure. Way lower. You're just going to kill some people along the way. Exactly. Chances of survival are zero, bro. Even a trained guy in that situation, like, yeah. you're still in the middle of the country. You don't know where you are. Like, you don't have your phone. Like, you, there's, you're going to lose this one. Right. Yeah. So so we decide against it. They get in the car. They start driving us through Croix de Bouquet, which I tweeted at one point when I got out that when you're locked in the desert and a lot of people were responding like, there's no desert in Haiti. You, you're a liar. This no, yeah. is why it's fake. There's a lot of that, yeah. Yeah, there's a desert in Haiti when all these gang guys have burned everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a fucking desert. It might not be called a desert. It's a desert. What it's, a, I, it's, a, it's a flat wasteland. What yeah. I saw, it's not flat. It's bumpy roads. Okay. Pure speed bump. That's why in my head, no mercenary team's coming to get me. Yeah, yeah. To get on those roads, it's 60 minutes. Whether you're going fast or slow, you're not making... Every piece of road is like this. Even the buggy that they have, they stole from... The guy who helped us? No way. Was there. I spoke to him after. The buggy that they stole from him was there, and it was broken because they probably drove it on those roads yeah, too yeah, hard. Yeah. Anyways, we're driving on these roads, and I'm seeing on my left and right maybe 150 cars by the time we had got to the compound, 150 cars with bullet holes in them, trucks, police cars, cars, no tires. They've looted all the tires off all the cars, okay? There's bullet holes in the cars, and the cars are either burned or, or whatever, broken Bro, glass. this is insane. It's a zombie apocalypse. Where's the footage? I couldn't film any. We're next to we're next to gang like they're all next to us. You know, I yeah, couldn't yeah. film anything. Yeah. So you know the Tirapli, the the second in chief, he's the one driving, and he goes, uh, you know, Blanc, we kind of like you. And I was like, well, if you like me, why are you kidnapping me? And he goes, if we didn't like you, you'd have a bag over your head, and we would have beat the shit out of you. I was like, okay, thanks for liking me. <laughs> 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 I'm like, all right, <laughs> thanks for liking me. Um, he goes, do you have any family you can call? Or do you have any parents? I go, I, I do have parents. Um, 
He goes, you're going to call them. I said, uh, no, I can't call my parents. My mom will have a heart attack. Uh, he goes, no, no, you're going to call your parents. I said, hey, uh, I'm being serious. If you call my mom, my mom will die. My mom won't just panic. She will die. I would like to call my brother. And so he goes, okay, fine. So they end up taking us in. We get to this compound. There's like 50 cars. He's stolen all these cars. So 50. you decided in the car that you were going to call me? Yeah. Not when you got to the house? No, no, in the car. Okay. Because uh, you called me from the house. Yeah. So so we, we eventually get there, and then they, they bring me my phone. Uh, before they bring my phone, they like, they're like, what do you want? Do you want any cigarettes? Whatever. I'm like, I don't really smoke cigarettes. So I do smoke cigars. You go, I'll bring you some cigars. You know, the king brings me some cigars. They, they, uh, they, the beers, all those beers. The beers. They, the room we were in had unlimited alcohol. I'll explain later, but they bring me beers. There's like 15 people in the room. Um, cigars, beers. He has them go cook for us bananas and fried eggs. And then, you know, you see that video, that first video we took where I, I go, I don't know if it's posted, but he had posted it from his end too. Uh, I took it and it'll be in the video. And he goes, uh, I go, hey, you know, we're not kidnapped. We're, we're in an expensive hotel. Yeah, yeah. I'm switching the narrative because yeah. they got a guy that speaks English and he's going to translate it. Yeah, yeah. And every time I'm saying Oh, they like didn't this, tell you say that. No. Oh, this whole time we're, we thought they were like, here's what you're going to say. No, no. I'm saying this. Okay. The world is stupid and doesn't understand that. And they're like. Oh, look, he's not kidnapped. Yeah. I actually had a grown man tell me that. I'm like, you have children, and you're a grown man, and you you think the most dangerous guy in Haiti? Like, I was like, do you not understand what's clearly happening? I'm, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm switching the narrative, and they're appreciating it heavily. Yeah. So I'm switching the narrative, and they're appreciating it heavily. Yeah. Oh, he's not kidnapped. Yeah, he's a guest in our house, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not kidnapped. I'm in a very expensive hotel. Yeah, that's what you said all you the know? time. You yeah. know? And, and, and so they're taking care of me. Look, I got cigars. That was only the first day we had cigars. After yeah. that, we didn't have any. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it was for PR, for their yeah, sake. Yeah, for sure. He, you know, he has some of their gang members take my Air Forces off. You guys know I wear Air Forces everywhere. He take my Air Forces, my socks off. He takes his slippers off his feet, the king, and he gives them to me. He puts them on my feet. I got them still. I'm going to give them away in the video. It's the slippers I wore for 17 days. <laughs> That's crazy. Fake Valentino slippers. That's too funny. So he takes them off his feet, gives them to me. He goes, it's too warm here. You're not going to wear those socks and shoes. Wear these. Whatever. And he goes, all right, call Translation, your... we like your shoes. No, they never stole them. They, they, never never, stole they them. gave them back to you? Yeah, yeah, I oh, kept okay. my shoes. Um, so they... Then I call you. Then I call you. The internet's pretty choppy, but, you know, you can see they're asking for 600000 They call you. Well, here's the story. So I was on a call. Like I am all day because I run an actual. Oh. Uh, your company seems to be breaking, brother. I ran an I run an <laughs> actual business, unlike, you know, some other people think. And I have I have eight hours a day of calls, so I'm right. like, I blow you off. I'm like, yo, busy, what's up? And you go, I'm kidnapped. This isn't a joke. No, I yeah, I said I told I said you I'm kidnapped. You said joke or not? And I go, no, not a joke. And like that's all I needed to be like, okay. He's not here. Let me actually pull up the text so that everyone can see it. Is that cool? It's going to take me a second, so don't uh, don't share yet real quick. As I get to it, I'll kind of explain. So you send me a message. You say kidnapped, and then you also in Arabic, so like in English writing, this is important for everyone to understand, <laughs> so they understand the context of it all, is you said sawwir, which in Arabic means take a video or photo. He's known that if I ever get kidnapped, because of the kind of dangerous stuff I do, he needs to film everything. You can share. Look at this. So this is the first interaction. So silence, video call. Screen mirror again. I got you. Cool. So I'll, I'll just, I'll keep an eye on that make it easier for you guys. So as this is pulling up, basically you call me. I silence the call. You text me. I'm kidnapped. And I basically hang up the call that I'm actually They want on. you to put it up. They're no, it's up. They already got it. So you can see here, silence 506. And then I was like, I'm on a call. What's up? And you go, I'm kidnapped in Haiti. You're negotiating so weird, which means take a video. And I go, you're serious? I knew Question. there's no way they could have translated that. Even if they had someone who was good with no, Arabic. No, no, it's impossible. It's impossible. Zero percent chance they're going to translate. What does that mean? So where? So where? What's a yeah. so where? Maybe it's like a relative name. Like, yeah, who exactly. Knows? You're serious. And you go, I go, you're serious. You go, yes, I'm safe. They're taking care of me. Cigars, beers, a room, no hurting. They're seeing me type this. Yeah. So I'm making no, 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 sure. No, for sure. I understand, bro, obviously. You know what yeah. I mean? So I'm like, okay, video call. So before I get to like the next screen, I video call you. It's 11 minutes. So I have this whole thing recorded, which will be, I'm sure you'll take parts of it and put it in the video. Yeah. So I went and got Gabe's phone. 
office. We're both working in this office. I went and got his phone. I was like, I need your phone right now. He's like, okay, cool. It doesn't question. It just hands me the phone. I walk in. I like position it where you know, it takes me two minutes to like, because I have a privacy screen. So I like, it has to be close enough uh, where okay, you can that's see why, it. That's why I was like that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But it like, but like far enough, you know what right. I mean? So it was a weird spot. So that's the worst part of this phone right now. I'm like, I should have just taken it off the whole time. Cause every video I'm like. By week two, I was a god. I knew the exact angle. It's like, I put it right <laughs> under the camera. <laughs> but like day one, I'm sweating. You know what I mean? So I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to do this. I might as well video everything. Right? I'm like, I'm going to go through this. And this is what people don't understand on the internet. They're like, you would never video it if it was actually real and all. I'm like, dude. I'm gonna go through it anyways. And we come out with nothing if you don't video. We it. come out with nothing. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, worst case, I, we could find a way to make this a sick documentary and at least make back ransom. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm he, like, he runs a content agency. I am a content creator. We're gonna film it. We're gonna make the best. I out was of like, it. I need to get as much as I can, right? Obviously, there's situations where I'm driving alone with one phone and they call me right. and I'm like, I can't get certain stuff like that. But I was like, every moment I can. My wife was on the same page. Your parents became on the same. We're like, we're going through this anyways. That's what people don't understand. It's not like we're like, oh, make sure uh, the aperture is right. We're not thinking about it like that. We're like, just record what's happening yeah. right now because like people need to see this. You know what I mean? Anyway, so that happens. And then they say, go get us money. Like we want $600,000. They call you for $600,000 and then you go, that doesn't make any sense. How am I going to get that into Haiti? No, but before, did you see what I did? There's an important psychology here in negotiating. What? They said they said six hundred thousand, and then he messed up. This will be in the main video. He said then he said five hundred thousand, but how he said it was five thousand hundred dollars, five hundred thousand no, million dollars. No, no, he, he said, said I watched it yesterday. Yeah, he said <laughs> five, but at one point he said five thousand hundred dollars. Yeah, five thousand hundred. And what I did was five thousand dollars. I heard that. I heard, no, I was, said five hundred. No, I, I said five thousand. Okay, yeah. I said five thousand. How am I gonna get? that? I was like, how am I gonna get five thousand dollars? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I watched it yesterday. So I was like immediately. I was like, if he's gonna anchor really high at six hundred. I got to anchor the exact opposite and say, I can't even get five grand. Yeah. So like from day one, they're like, fuck bro. We're off with the 500,000 number. Like maybe, like maybe we'll settle for 50, yeah. 30, 20. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. You can't even get five. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't want to be like, I'll give you whatever. Like if it was mom, she would answer, but like, oh my God. whatever you need, we'll give it to you if tomorrow. If I called mom, it would have cost us millions. Millions of dollars. Right. So I was like, right away, I was like, I have to act like I don't have any money. So I was like, Love you, 5,000. <laughs> I was like, I can't get $5,000. How am I going to get $5,000? He's like, you need to figure out $500,000. I'm like, okay, whatever. So we you get know, he goes, and he goes, he goes, you know what? We'll give you a discount. 50,000 off. That's what he said for, I'm yeah. like, <laughs> I'm like, that doesn't make it any and, easier. And, and he looks at you and he goes, this is, this is, he goes, we're mafia, homie. You know what that means? He's like, we don't fuck around. Yeah, we don't. You you do what we say. Yeah, and you're yeah. like, yeah, but you don't understand the countries. These guys are retarded. I'm they like, don't know that they broke out four thousand prisoners and everything in the country shut down. They don't use Google. They don't read the news. They don't know any of that. Oh, really? Yeah, bro, yeah. They gotta know. They don't people. know how to use Google. Bro, bro, I'll tell you this: anything, anything ever leaked in Haiti within thirty minutes, everyone in Haiti knew about it. It's, you're right. He, he they knew how to impossible. use TikTok. They knew how to use TikTok and Twitter. Clearly, Tick, not Twitter. I'm telling you. They did not know how to use the Twitter. Publications, the publications, the publications would take the Twitter and put it on TikTok. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So anyways, wildfire news. Once everything became involved with you in there was wildfire. So for sure they know what's happening in the country. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. They, well, they anyways. Know. But here's the thing. So I was like, okay, can I send it in crypto? No. Can I send it to a bank? No. This is what people don't realize is the hardest part of this formula. It's not even getting the money. It's getting the money there in cash untouched and getting you back out of the country without also getting kidnapped. I'll give you an example. At one point, I had three different jets lined up to fly in. I was like, I have all the options I need in case. We found the airway. We found everything. We're like, here's exactly how it's going to go down. We'll have a team. We'll do an exchange. And then I was like, how the fuck are we going to fly in a jet? Bro, if they fucking a $10 million jet lands in Haiti, fucking 50 guys with guns pointed at the jet, what are we going to do? They're going to take the fucking jet. Fuck the ransom. They have a $10 million jet. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? I'm like, even that option doesn't make sense, actually. It's our worst option. So then we started planning, like, driving options, like flying to DR and, like, I'll get into it a little bit so you can understand the timeline. But, like, that was the hardest part, guys. Like, no one realizes that. We need to get 600 k Let's just say that was the number. Cash in a bag, flown. FBI won't give me a piece of paper that says you can fly with this. Think about it. They know I have the money because they gave me permission to get it from the bank. I'll talk about that in a second. But I couldn't even fly. Oh, really? Yeah. They I gave you like a. No, I'll, like tell, you, a I'll tell you what happened. No, I, I, no, I held the, I basically held the bank at gunpoint, but gunpoint was a 6'3", 285 pound rich guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that was gunpoint. Yeah. 
So I like she was crying. The bank manager. She like started crying. I had to hug her. I not at gunpoint. Not literal gunpoint. Yeah, guys. yeah. <laughs> like these guns right here. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So so anyways, basically what happens is in that in the screenshot right here. If you want to share my screen again, I basically take like I move money into certain accounts like and I I shrink accounts. So I yeah. get three accounts that are like sub three grand. Yeah. And I'm like, here's everything we have. He sends me a screenshot of them with like four thousand, three thirty four hundred bucks, eighteen hundred bucks, and twenty one hundred bucks. And I was like, this is everything I have. Like me and my wife, this is all my wife and I have. I have to leave four hundred for rent due on Monday. I was like, I can find a gate. You were texting me texts. They weren't reading them. I know, I know. But me. but think about my perspective. I know. Yeah. I'm like, no, no, I know, I know. I'm like, I can play two games here. I can play the game where I can talk to him through text. But also, he understands what I'm actually saying, and if they read it, exactly, then it's like exactly. proof. You know what they I mean? They weren't reading shit. See, I don't know that. Right? I know, I know. I didn't know course. that. Oh, like, no, no, of course. I yeah, know you're yeah. playing a different game. Yeah. So, anyways, I was like, "Do you need me to try to get more money? I can sell some stuff." And then I called them back, and they didn't answer. And then I called them back three hours later. I found a way to get the money because in my head, dude, I'm like, I'm doing research on the gang situation in Haiti, right? I'm like, I gotta get educated on who my opponent is here, and I'm finding people just getting killed. And I'm like, I have to, I have to make you financially more valuable than killing you. Yeah. So like, there has to be a floor that I have to play at. Right. I don't know what that floor is yet. Right. So I said, I, I'm panicking now. Six thirty six. We haven't talked in two hours. And then I go. I found a way to get the money. Most of it. Like I'm like, I'm not going to commit to all of it. I'm going to say like most. You know what I mean? And then I called at eight fifty three. No answer. And then nine nine oh seven. You guys called back. You said trying to call back. Whatever. Okay. And then you... The internet was very weak. It, of course, of course. But we didn't know you. that the Starlink was blocked by the concrete. We didn't think about that at the moment. But okay. then we, the other calls, we would start making outside. Okay, so here, here's the context, though. Me, I'm like, if he dies tonight, it's my fault. Right? By the way, they had a Starlink that they had looted. The That's house crazy. I was in, they had a Starlink. That's crazy. Okay, go ahead. So so I, I now, I'm like, okay, I can't tell mom right now. Like, I have to yeah. figure out the situation. But I also can't lose your life. So I, I can't be like, I have no money. I, cause I played that. And then I waited four hours, nothing. I'm like, okay. Like what if they're going to harm him because he didn't have enough money? So I'm like, Oh, I think I have a way to get most of it. Not all of it, you know? And then when he called me that night, I recorded it. You, you'll have that video too. I don't know if you remember, he was like, how much do you have? And I was like, I think I can get like over a hundred grand. You know what I mean? I was like, I think I can get over uh, Yeah, grand. I thought that was a bad play. But I was seeing in the inside. You are seeing from the outside. From my in, sense, I'm In like, my head, I'm like, what did he just do? So I, here's Why the did he say that? <laughs> Let me tell you this. I talked to three FBI people in that time span, right? I called different offices and uh, talked to negotiators whose only job is Haiti. And they said, if you offer too low of an amount, they, they might kill him. And so when I heard that and I uh, sent yeah. eight grand, I'm sweating. I'm like... Dude, what if that text costs his life? <laughs> right, you know what I mean? Right, like, right. like you saw how I wanted to play. I wanted of to play. I, saw, I don't I have 5,000. I, I don't have anything. But then when three guys who do this for a At living. At some point, I thought you were just trying to confuse them because you're going up, down, up, down. Well, up, I was down. like, I think we're going to have money. I was like, I think we'll get this tomorrow. And then tomorrow, I'm like, we didn't get it. That's kind of. Yeah. I never like said we had you it. Never promised. I was like, hey, tomorrow, this is the amount I think I should have. And then yeah. I'll get to tomorrow. i like, sorry, I didn't get 100 grand. I got like five. So listen. By day two, yeah, the king. So I, anytime they're walking up, so we're locked in a room, guys. With a, it has a bed, it has a couch. You've seen the room. He put it on the video. The room he put us in was his old room, and it's actually the room that they used to store all their alcohol. So he's got a rule that that has to be air conditioned at all times, so the alcohol doesn't get ruined. So we had AC at all times. the The alcohol was in the bathroom. the The toilet seat had no like. No bowl on it, um, no no seat on it. It was disgusting, mosquitoes in there, and unlimited alcohol, like an entire store worth of alcohol of shit-tier whiskey. It was called whiskey, but it tasted like rubbing alcohol. Like, you drink it, it's killing everything inside your body. Um, That's and why these, you're so healthy going back. Yeah, these guys were always hammered. They were always hammered. So our, our jail cell was outside. You guys will see. I, we snuck videos while inside and Should uploaded Should I show them. a video? You, uh, you can show a video, yeah. yeah. You can show a video. Give me a second. What don't, do you have? Don't pull it up. The yeah. video of the dogs? Yeah, the video of the dogs. Yeah, I snuck. Yeah, yeah. I snuck every time we, we had started towards the end seducing seducing the translator. He's the only one who spoke English. And uh, he would give us our phones for elongated periods of time. And we would message people and delete the messages. And also we would take videos and toss them in our trash. At one point, I uploaded everything to Google Drive for my I'll editor. I'll tell you when I have it. I uploaded everything to Google Drive for my editor. And I said, start editing. So I, I had... I had, the first thing I did was delete my bank app from my phone because the the envelope they had that they stole my cash, I deleted my bank app 
That way they couldn't search it in case they were smart enough to see the logo and then search it on my phone and force me to empty everything. So, so I deleted the bank app. Then I deleted Discord off the homepage because I know that they have no idea what Discord is. There's no way these guys use Discord in the middle of the fucking desert, okay? And then I turned off notifications of Discord. So I start messaging my team. Hey guys, I'm kidnapped. I have I have eight videos that are still unedited because I was going on a video shooting spree. I was well, about we to stopped you because you guys don't know this. He sends a screenshot to his editor this moment, like the moment that we're on the first phone call and you say, if you're getting this, I'm kidnapped. Yeah. Yeah. And you sent that to leak publicly. You're like, leak this, put it on social media. It never made it to social media. I didn't media. say leak that. Yes, you did. I told my editor to leak that. Yeah. You told, you told I said, don't editor. say a word. Keep editing. No, Do not leak this. No, 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 no. no. You said, make sure you post this on YouTube. And then you oh, I had a trailer. Yeah, said, yeah. I had a trailer that was said, ready. Make sure Lalu goes down to my computer and tweets it out for my You're account. right. You're right. I did say and that. I told me and Sammy told them. I was like, if you upload this to YouTube. We'll fly to your house I'm and beat your I'm ass personally. You yeah, yeah. Good play. Good we play. We stopped them right. I had a trailer ready. In yeah. case anything happens. So the world knows this whole time we're like trying to silence it and you're trying to leak it, bro. I had an unreleased you know I mean? trailer ready. You know I mean? <laughs> right. We're like trying to suppress you. Luckily, you're also your email copywriter. Because I thought us putting it out would get the attention of Barbecue who would speak to them. But at that time, definitely not the play if we think about it in in, in the long run. For the next week, your editor's sending me screenshots. He's like, bro, Arabs tell me to upload it. What do I do? I was like, tell him to kill himself. Like. Why no, no I, chance. No, no I asked him. I asked we him two days later why he didn't, and then I said, "Okay, it makes sense." We threatened. Anyways, you were you were kidnapped. We yeah. could actually beat his ass. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. we had all the leverage. Well, anyways, we I could actually fight you. I told my editor, <laughs> "Good play. Good thing he didn't do it." I understood afterwards. You guys are probably right. So, so I told him just keep editing, handle the team. So I was supposed to upload thirty days in June. I was working like crazy about to upload thirty days in June. Filmed enough all the way up to May, and then I was gonna keep. I was supposed to be in Haiti, in and out, forty eight hours. So I tell him, keep editing. So I'm managing the entire team while inside. Every time I get Discord, I'm like, all right, you guys doing this? You handle everything. You handle the website. You go to Arab Uncut. Do but this. what's happening emotionally, which is important, is everyone here is falling apart except Of me. course, but what am I going to do? I'm going to hold, no, no, I'm gonna hold like, you guys from inside? No, no, no. But I'm, I'm, I'm like emotionally ruthless. Yeah. I look like a piece of shit brother. Yeah. Because I'm like straight face, don't care. But really, I know you're the only one who's going to I'm like, kill this. him. You know what I mean? And yeah. they're like, oh, oh, don't say that. Yeah. You're going to kill it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, once it clicked in my head, you're worth more There's than There's the video. One. So this this guy's face hasn't been leaked yeah. yet. This guy's face, this is a gangster that wanted us specifically not to leak his face. And I made sure I got all, fuck this guy. We we became this friends. This guy that talked to me. This is the guy who was talking to you the whole time. And but then at the end, by, started, the end by the end, he was our friend. Because we had caught don't him. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Okay. Because there's some, he, he said, there was one sentence he said. And when he said, it, I was like, it's over. We won. Like he said it and it clicked. I was like, I called them. I texted him in the group chat. I was like, we'll have him out in 48 hours. Like guaranteed we're good. Like I texted him right away to the family. I was like, it's over. Like we're, we're at the finish line. He said some shit. He, I was like, why the fuck would he say that? And I, I was like, I'm going for his throat. You know what I mean? It's like when, when you saw the hole in the armor, I was like, it's it. We're good. Like I told the family, I was like, chill. Yeah. We're, yeah, we're yeah, getting yeah. him back. Yeah. And also, don't spoil it because you got him there. Yeah. And, and then he yeah, said yeah. it. I was like, weak. We it was, it, I'm telling you guys, this was one big game of chess. I went right to Gabe. I was like, Gabe, it's over. Like, <laughs> like he showed weakness. He said this shit. He's like, why would he say that shit? We're, we're at the gym. He's like, why would he say that shit? I'm like, it's over. I'm All right, go on, go on. So this, is, so this is day one. We're still day one. Everyone's this stressing. Not, the, but this video is not day one. No. This video is like day 12 when he started giving us our phone more. Yeah. yeah. I was sneaking as many videos but as I could have. The dogs, the barbed wire, the everything I could get outside, I was trying to get videos. And of. what you didn't know is the whole time, I'm actually sending these videos to mercenary teams to pinpoint okay, your location. Because I have your longitude and latitude. Okay, right. And exactly. I'm pinning where you are there. Like, So you knew we were in the shack. Dad yeah. knew we were in that shack the oh, whole we, time, too. We knew in your shack from the moment you called me. Okay, cool, cool. From the moment you called me, we saved your coordinates. And every time your phone pinged, we saved them again. Nice. And they made me turn my location off one time. And then when I got it back and we had this guy by himself, snapped it back on. Yeah, no, and we were, were just refreshing it all day, by the way. So, yeah. like, we're like, we know that's what's happening. Right. We're like, obviously, they're not going to let him. Uh, you like, would see it move from the house to the other house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would it actually move? Is it, is, yeah, does yeah, it yeah. switch like no, that? No, no, you're, I'll show you longitude, longitude and latitude. We're like, off by, like, decimal well, points I'm wondering if, if, if I only move 20 feet, does the location actually move? Uh, so you, you were, you were at the there? end of a road that kind of hooks like a cul-de-sac. Yeah. And we knew what house you were in the whole time. But I'm saying when they would take the phone back to the main house, 
would it switch location or would yes. it just keep me there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, but nice. it wasn't like on a map, it's nothing. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know what I mean? Course. It's not like it doesn't feel like 50 feet, 100 feet, right, whatever right. it is, right? Anyway, so day one, I get home. I'm emotionless. I'm like, okay, this is real. Like, I'm talking to Terry the whole time on WhatsApp while I'm like dealing with all these calls, right? And I get home and uh, I'm like ruthless. I'm like, it's okay. Like, he's fine. He's a fucking idiot. Like, I can't believe we're in this situation, but like, we're going to, like, yeah. no one's more qualified than me, babe. We're good. Yeah. And she was like, and then she just like broke down crying. And that was when it was like, was real. I was like, your wife's crying. She's I was like, in. I was like, uh, it's not, no, not even that. I'm not thinking about her. I'm thinking about, I'm like, like, okay, this is like really a situation where everyone else is crying. You know what I mean? I'm like, it's that serious, but I'm, I'm trying to like, I can't treat it like that because then I talk to these guys like a bitch. Yeah. I have to talk to them. God bless you. I knew you were the best equipped for this. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I, uh, when it happened, I Gabe's like, you. I'm, I'm, Gabe's I'm, like, he knew why he called you, and like, I would you've like been prepared to say this for this. Verbally, how many people are watching? Seven point one. Seven point one k. I would like to say this to everybody watching. I put my brother and my family through so much by doing this. By the way, I never asked sympathy. And our friends. Wait till I tell you the I people never, that stuff. I never asked for sympathy from people online. You guys know me. If you watch me, you know I don't give a fuck about people online's opinions. But I put everybody close to me in a tough situation, and I apologize for that. And I, I thank you for, one, having my back. I heard many times that I heard one time one of your clients said, uh, one of your clients said, dude, it seems like you're not even on this call, that you're only thinking about your brother's I wasn't kidnapping. Even, no, no, I wasn't even on the call. They're like, you need to, he needs to stop playing this clickbait fake shit with his brother. And, and like, you just told him, fuck you, right? Kindly. I was like, listen, ah, okay. like, that's just too disrespectful. My team was more disrespected than me. I wasn't on the call. Yeah. Is that like, said you sent me? Uh, I don't know if was I that one it. guy that one of your no no. Anyways, regardless, the situation is there's a lot of many of his clients thought we were faking this because my but brother's my but brother's some company of them helped save you by the way. My brother's company's you. name is Bad Marketing. So like it's very reasonable that we would do this. It's a very reasonable thing to think. Oh shit, this is just like a bold. It's bold and disruptive is their thing. It's, oh, this is just a bold marketing move. It went global. No, no, this was all Which, of when us. when we decided to go viral. It, it was the was. perfect time. It, but like the whole- We had to do we it. Actually, you were the most famous person in the world for one day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, Wh yeah. Which is like, that's the real play. But the time it went viral, we had to get it viral that time to save me, by the way. You guys will understand later. Okay, so here's what happened. So basically day one, we're in. This is the situation. I'm not telling your mom. Just so you have- And the, the next few days will kind of go by a lot faster, I think. But like, this is important. Day one, you texted me at, at like 11 at night and you said, hey, I th they'll come down to 300 tomorrow. And I deleted it. And you deleted it. You yeah. said you said they'll come down to three. From I, what I was hearing inside, I was texting him inside info. Whatever yeah, yeah. I could hear inside, I would sneak. So basically, bro, anytime your phone turned on, five people with guns in front of me, and I because I type so fast, they're mind blown by how fast I I live on my phone. That's what I do. So I would type a message, hit delete while I'm staring at them because I can type without looking too. So I type a message and I would hit delete, and then I'd be like, "Yo, can we talk? Can we talk?" So that way there was a message there. Just in case, it's like, what was, he, was he, what was he typing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's a message there. And you're there. unsend for yourself, so it doesn't show up as yeah, unsend message. Exactly. I would no. delete for me. You can delete for me on WhatsApp. Or you can delete for everyone. If you delete for everyone, it shows that you deleted a message. If you delete for you, it just deletes on your end. Yeah, and so, so I knew from the first deleting this. Every time you ever deleted something, you almost never needed to tell me because, like, I knew what was like deleting and not. But this is the first message. You guys can share the screen. Okay, cool. So basically, this is the first message as it pulls up. And it's basically, yo, they agreed to drop to 300K because they like me. This is at 8.46 a.m. on Friday. So day two. This is like 12 hours after you first called me. Because they like me, but they'll probably go lower later. Going to need to stall longer deleting this. And so, and then he, what you sent actually was they'll talk to you later. Phone not with me for the next few hours. And I was like, okay, let me see if I can negotiate without negotiating. In my head, I'm like, they're reading something, right? Because yeah. they're holding your phone lock screen. They can see the text. So I said they want it in USD. I thought they wanted it in Dominican money. Yeah. So I'm like, you sent that they weren't even reading it. I know, but in my head, I know, I'm I like, know, I know. I'm like, this is another way to anchor the negotiation. You tell me I'm about like, 120k, and then you go, oh shit, you meant US dollars, not Dominican. Exactly. In my head, I'm like, would you just offer them one thousand dollars, bro? But, you but just offer I mean, them two k. But think about it. I only offered them six to start. They like, thought that's they were getting one thirty, and now now they, now you're saying Your two. Brother, I'm dead. Bro. I'm dead. I thought I was dead. No, no, I, I did. <laughs> you too, told them that, and they go, "Oh, he's got 130k. Let's go." And then, yeah. and then in my head, I'm like, "Shit, you said Dominican. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. means two thousand dollars." But it's okay. But that when they find out, we're fucked. No, no, no. But I, I knew like as long as I showed them that I was always getting more. Yeah. That I could keep you alive. Right. So I was like, "How I can start that? 
And so that's what happened day one. I talked to the FBI. I'm going to the bank. I'm like 300 grand. Okay. That's the last message you sent me. I'm like, okay, if they're going to drop the 300, let me at least, if it's life and death, let me at least know I did everything and I got the 300 K and I got a jet ready and we could fly down and get you like, that's, that's day one. Right. So day right. one, I go to the bank the whole time I'm on the bank. I'm on between group calls with your dad and the FBI different offices in, in the US. Then I got to like the head negotiator for Haiti kidnappings. There's like four people in a conference room on a call and it's me. And I'm like walking them through while I'm waiting for the bank to give me money. The bank won't give me the cash. Yeah, because you, you can't pull more than 10K out of a bank cash. No, no, you, you can, can pull, pull like more. 20, 30, but. 40, you can probably okay, pull 40, 40, yeah. 40 to 60 probably and you'll be fine. So, but here, here's the thing, I couldn't get that. So as soon as I realized there was a possibility I'm not gonna get it, I started texting my friends and your friends that I like, I was like, okay, they'll just for sure just throw me like, like 10 bands to 40 bands per person, right. right? So I got like 100 grand from like people. I'm like, right. go to the bank now, just he's kidnapped, trust me. Like I might not be able to get it all, so get me everything you can. You know I got you. Like just get me yeah. everything you can. Yeah. So like one person got 40, one person got 20, one person's bank only let him get 10, just an example, right? Right. So I gathered that and then eventually I was like, listen, I only need 150 more, like give me the 150. And they were like, we can't do that. I was like, call the FBI right now. So like. They got on the phone, they called the FBI. And I was like, this is the agent I'm talking to. They're like, that person doesn't exist. I'm like, try again. Like, they definitely just changed their last name, got married or something. This is the person, this is their position, this is their phone number, call them. Call them, boom, boom, boom. Yes, this is a real case. Yes, he's actually kidnapped in Haiti. Yes, he says they confirmed with a corporate of like Bank of America. And I'm like, guys, I've sat here for four hours and you've counted way more than 150 grand for like all the people that you're giving cash to. I'm telling you, it's a life and death scenario. All these other people are probably just paying a contractor today. Like, give me my fucking money now. Yeah. And, and they, I kept putting pressure and they wouldn't. And eventually I was like, listen, if I do not hear that machine counting dollars I'll in the next five minutes, I will shut down all 12 accounts I have, all four companies, and I will never bank a single dollar with you ever again in my life. Look how much money comes in and out. Bro, 60 seconds. <laughs> They went, they got like security from outside to come and like escort me out with like this bag of money. They counted it under the table. I heard it counting, but it's under the table. And then they, she just pulls out like a bag of like 150 grand cash and just, hand, and she's like, how do you want it? And what, here's, here's the situation. I'm like, this is the, this is the part that's going to make it to your video. It's sick because you'll see how sick it is. But I was like, how can I find the most realistic fake money possible? So I did. I found aged fake money. And I was like, if we're going to do this exchange, I'm, I was so hoping you would think in your head to exchange them fake money. Okay. I was so here, hoping you would think. Let me tell you what the game plan in my head at this point was. If I have to fly down, I have 300 grand cash. I have three backpacks. Okay. I have 150K cash in each backpack. One of them is fake. So I have the 300K real in backpack one and three, but backpack two, they all look the same, has the fake 150. You get okay, what I'm saying? Right. So I'm like, I'm like, based on the handoff scenario and how I feel, like if I got possession of you, you get what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm going to give them 150 fake one real. By the time they get to the fake one, like they won't even realize. It'll take them so long because it's so good. Yeah. And I was like, we're good. And I'll at least have walked away with you. But if it's me giving them to count, I'll give them backpack one and three and give them a real 300 K. Cause like, I can't risk you dying. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? That's where my head's at. So yeah. I bought 150 grand of fake money. It's fucking incredible, bro. Like. Like you can't tell, but if you if you touch it like side by side, you can kind of be like, yeah, this might you be. You can tell. I doubt they can. But, but in my head, I'm like, these I, guys course, are professional of no, no, of kidnappers course, of, of course, cash. Of course, of you course. You know what I of mean? Course, and I'm course. like, so that's the situation. So I walk out of the bank with 150 grand. My friends gave 150 grand, and then we had 150. How fake much did they cost? Fake 150 grand of fake cash. A thousand bucks. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. And FBI approved. They know because it's an open case. Like it's cool. What? Like that you. That you had that fake cash? Yeah. No one knew I had fake cash. Oh, okay. No, no, I couldn't. I sealed my fake cash. No one knows. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, you know who knows is uh, my assistant. She bought it. My wife. And How'd then, you buy it? And then online. And we have a group chat. I bought it I overnight. Got Amazon. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he just hopped on Amazon. And he there's websites it. for this shit. Yeah, it's crazy. And so that was my like plan one because we don't have anyone who has cash. I asked all the Haitian people I right. know. There was like no connections that could get cash in. It yeah. was just like impossible. So we I'm knew like, nobody in Haiti. The only person I knew in Haiti was my journalist who was kidnapped with me. So, so situation day one is like all your friends pulled through, your parents pulled through, everyone pulled through, everyone got the cash together. We're good. I got the jet from a friend. Since I was day like, one. Day one. Day one. But I was like, and mom's like, uh, so then we tell mom day, day like full day one, not day zero, day one. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, dad, you, you can tell her. 
she can never she cannot step into my home for two weeks i was like i can't have that yeah like she communicates through the group chat like i knew it's going to be overwhelming for me i'm like she's your wife i know she's my mother but like i'm handling this eight hours every day i need you to like just make sure that's like off my plate. I'm my mom's son, guys, you know, like, yeah. and my mom is also more panicky than most mothers. So that's why. In a, in a good sure. way, like she's overprotective yeah, of you. Yeah, very overprotective. So like. My, my mother mo gave up her life to raise us. So. so I actually didn't even tell her for a few days that I had the Love money. you, mom. I, I told her I didn't have the money for a few days. Because, mom? yeah, because like, she was like, please just get all the money and give it to them. So I'm like, I'm not going to tell her I have it. I can't risk it. If you anything. give these guys. The ransom that they're asking for day one. They'll ask you for 10 times more. They'll keep you for another two two weeks, two months, three months. And I knew. So by this point, I know what gang it is. This is day one. What gang it is, who the guy's name that kidnapped you is. I've done research about them. So if you go online and you look, he's basically, he kidnapped. Missionaries, 17 missionaries. Yep, like 20 missionaries. Kidnapped the French guy. Back in 2021. But the missionaries is huge because they asked for a million dollars ransom for each 17 one. 17 million, yeah. Yep. And then they didn't get anywhere near that number. Did they tell you what it was? Cause it's not online. Oh, you got the number? It's an anonymous. No, the do you know? Told you? Do you know what it? No, the guy never. The embassy guy never told me. Fuck, man, I wanted that number. He so told bad. me the story. He said, "I we can't say that. I'm sure it's some big number if they're hiding it like that." Yeah, I don't know, bro. You he, think no, so? he told he told me. He said off the record, so I'm not gonna say it. But but he he told me a lot of details about it, and and let's just say they, you know. I shouldn't speak about okay, it. Okay, okay. I, so, I, I gave the guy my word. Okay, so. cool. So, so, anyways, I got all the money because this is a Friday. I'm like, okay, banks are going to be closed on the weekend. They're going to have less cash on Saturday. Like, I need to get the money today. My, And they're like, what are you going to do? Like, like the banks, like, what are you going to do? Just fly down with the cash? I'm like, if I have to, yes. Like, I'm going to fucking bring a team of guys. I, like, So, while I'm doing this, I'm like, how do I deliver this safely? So, I get jets ready. I have three different mercenary groups ready one of them is in haiti already at this point now i've found now i've found excuse i found an excuse to start sending you contacts now i can yeah so one of the teams was your guy that you said actually two of the teams were your guys i sent you donuts team i sent you donut you sent me two you sent you me texted donut yeah so you shout out to donut donut operator big youtuber you guys might know him but donut texted me and said are you okay and and i know that donut will always have my back in that case he'll send the best teams Donut, I, I texted my dad his number. said, if I'm ever kidnapped or anything you ever need, you just text him and say you're my dad, and he'll give you whatever guys, whatever team you cool. need. Cool. So he, he put me in touch with someone else who basically put together. That was one of my team options. The other team option was um, Vlogger Boy. What's his name? Lord Miles. Yeah, yeah, Lord Miles. That was option number two. Right. His option, just so, so everyone understands it. This is about like two, three days in now. We're in the weekend. And and we're, we're, we're waiting. These guys are saying you got to get it over the border no matter what. We're telling them, like, you don't understand. Nobody can come into the fucking country. And I'm asking them, I'm like, can you bring someone to the border and I'll give you the money in the border? And they're like, no. I'm like, if you can't, who lives there and runs this country, How the fuck? what makes you think I can from America? <laughs> like, like I, I started getting kind of rude with them at one point. I'm like, bro. And, I, and they're like, We're, what's up with the money? I'm like, I told Wait, you the banks are closed. You, gotta, you forget one quote, bro. One quote that just stuck with us all the time. What? We're gangster, homie. Every time. We're gangster. Anytime he would tell them something. We're gangster home. And you're watching it through the phone. Dog, I'm watching it in front of me. These guys, by the way, rap ruined the world. Rap ruined the world. These guys all want to be rappers. Sagging their pants, wearing fake Burberry, Fendi, whatever. All right? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to imitate. We gangster, homie. This is what I'm seeing from my yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. We gangster, homie. You do what we say. Every time, I just wanted to laugh, bro. I just wanted to laugh. Because <laughs> you're seeing it through the phone, yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah. witnessing how rap ruined the world. Yeah, yeah. All yeah, right, yeah. go ahead. So, <laughs> so, so I basically told them, I was like, listen, it's the weekend. I'm not going to get you any more money. I'm like, the weekend buys me a two-day stall guarantee. Like, yeah. we'll get more money on Monday. Right. I was like, now I got two days of pure planning without dealing with their shit. And I don't know if you noticed, this is where I started becoming a little more ruthless with them. Because I did research on the missionary one. And one month in, they let some out. Two months in, they let more out. Three months in, they let the rest. They let the they let the rest out. Okay. So I was like, "This is a three week plus operation potentially." So I'm like, "I'm not gonna sit here and rush to deliver shit tomorrow." Because day one, that's what it was. I'm like, day one, who knows what the situation is? I'm right. fucking never dealt with a kidnapping in another country in the jungle. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like this is a crazy scenario. I'm like, I need to be ready to save your life. Once I was like, "Oh, they're gonna drag this out." I'm like, I need to like drip every day. 
a little bit more money to see how long I can take it out to exhaust them at the same time, right? And I know you're working on the inside. I'm right? working so There's hard. There's no one on else it. I trust with guys, you guys and you. Everyone who is walking by, so we're locked in the in the cell. So we got the inside room, and then we got a cell outside that we would put two chairs, and we would bartend. I told you guys we had unlimited, you know, alcohol and cigarettes. So they would all come by, ask us for cigarettes, alcohol all day. We were bartending. Sean was bartending That's for 16 hours a day. <laughs> 16 so, hours a day. 16 hours, <laughs> bro, till 3 a.m. every day. I was sleeping. He was bartending. Yeah, that's crazy. So, that Sean was doing his job, but yeah. I was doing my job entertaining. We both had jobs. We agreed. Yeah. Because I didn't understand Creole. And we had unlimited water. The king was taking care of us. I'll say that. Day two, he went. He sent the guys to the deli. They bought us, like, deli chicken, some juices, apples, bread, peanuts, like, unlimited water. We were kitted. You know, like we yeah. were we were being taken care of for being kidnapped, that's for sure. But we were playing that game. You know, most people they kidnap, they throw in a shack, they toss them, you know, they toss food under the door, they put bags over their head. We were playing that game well. And glory be to God. So so they would come by and we would, you know, we would we would feed them alcohol, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Where were you? At what point were you? Sorry, I'm the whiskey's getting to me a little. No, at my point, I was on the weekend. And yeah. I had told them, this is day two, right? Right. Day two and a half, I guess. I'm like, there's no more money for the next two days. Uh, okay, listen. And he's like, when should I call? This is when I started becoming a little sassy with them. I, they're like, when? Because I'm like, okay, they're not going to kill him. I officially have 10 grand that I've showed them. They can't kill him because the 10 grand's already worth it. Nice. So I'm like. You became ruthless. I, I became ruthless. So I was like, they, like Saturday, he was like, and remember, mom's like, tell me every time you call you. You know what I mean? And I'm like, Saturday, he's like. When do you want me to call you next so we don't waste the boss's time? Yeah. I was like, don't call me till Monday about money, but you have to call me every day about my brother. Yeah. I was like, I'll get money every day when I see my brother. If I don't see my brother, I won't go get, I'll stop getting money. Yeah. And so he called me on Monday and I was like, you didn't call me yesterday. He's like, you said to wait till Monday. I was like, I want to see my brother. Like, so, so that's when my tone changed with them. Right. I was like, now I'm going to fucking bully these guys a little bit. Because I can, I, I know I've showed them enough to make your life worth keeping. Yeah. So I'm like, let me see how far I can push them. Right. So, so now that we had all this food, we have food, alcohol, cigarettes, unlimited. Okay. We got to get rid of the bread before it I'm molds surprised anyway. you came out like a hard Christian instead of a chain smoker. Yeah. I started smoking inside. My <laughs> I smoked my first cigarette inside. But the first, the first half I didn't smoke cigarettes. It was, it was towards after the first payment you made. After the botch payment, I was like, fuck this. Oh, don't this. talk about the botch payment. It's, Dog. it's too big of a story. I was like, fuck Your this. Your brother's going to chime in on this. I was like, fuck this. I need. To, I started smoking like 12 cigarettes a day, Stop like half it. a pack. Stop it. Bro. No, no. It's because Sean and I were cooking. Yeah. Sean and I were like playing that game of chess inside, and the best moments were when we were chain smoking. We would hit, <laughs> <laughs> we would hit like seven cigarettes in a row. You know, we'd light it from each other because we didn't have a lighter. So we would light <laughs> We would like to, after they would come speak to us, I'd be like, give me a cigarette. And we would just start cooking. <laughs> we go, okay, international news. We got to, you know, we got to do this, this, this. And we'd like look over and make sure we're whispering, just chain smoking, throwing them back into the desert and just going again. So, so anyways, day two, we had food. Everybody in that prison complex, in, in that prison compound, he doesn't feed them well. They're all like workers that run the compound. Oh, really? You're eating better than they we're are? We're eating better than they are. Crazy. They'll come up to us and beg us. So we're feeding them this food, okay, and, and earning trust with them. We're giving them our food. Um, so we're earning trust with them. And and then even like the, the lay workers that would just, you know, handle the compound that weren't gangsters, they would come up to us and start telling us what they were hearing from the gangsters. No way. Sean was bartending all night, so by the time they're drunk, yeah, they're, they're he's getting games. info. Yeah, so yeah. I'd wake up every morning with new info. Sean, <laughs> <laughs> Sean would hit me with info. He'd be like, yeah, you didn't hear last night? This guy said this, 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 this. The king is going to war or whatever, blah, blah. I think they're going to release us. like Stuff like that throughout the whole time. So, yeah. And you we, slam me an update, deleted. Yeah. yeah you I basically, was, every morning, I every time your phone was on for the first time, You'd slam me an update, delete, and I, I just would ignore it. I'd never respond, reply to it, anything. And I just knew, like, that was my update. And the only influencer I'd personally told at this time was Sneeko. Sneeko and I message all the time. We message every day because, you know, we do a lot of collabs together. He's a good friend. And and he knew because he knew he was the only person who knew I was in Haiti. Sneeko, three days in, after me not responding, knew I was kidnapped. So I messaged my brother. I had an excuse to message my brother's contact just in case I did get caught. 
um, that we couldn't get somebody over the border with money. So I was Sneak sending out? him. I already had Sneeko's number. Oh, did you? We've talked before. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, I messaged you in case. No, no, yeah, yeah. What you did wrong was you messaged shit to dad that you never messaged to me before you went. So, like, I was getting fed day three. I got Sean's contact info from dad. He's like, he said he was going with this guy. So, I'm texting Sean. I don't know. He's the guy I that's I assume dad would tell you. Bro. I assume dad bro, would, would message you. I assume, no debrief. When you stopped like, messaging only, in the family chat, yeah. when they stopped messaging in the family chat the day I got kidnapped. We messaged in that family chat every day. I immediately made a when kidnapping you messaging in the it, When you stopped messaging in the family chat, I knew you had another chat. So I assumed anybody I sent in the family. I assumed the same, bro. Every two days I was finding new info. I was like, when did he send this to you? Today? Bro. He's like, oh no. Like last week before he went. I'm like. We didn't even find out about Sean from. We found out because his girlfriend messaged your Facebook. Yeah, his girlfriend messaged my Facebook, messaged my Facebook guy, Messages, Hachi, yeah. and then know, he messaged Lalu, and, and then, then messaged you. It wasn't even from dad. And, and I was dad like, knew. hey, with all due respect, like, they want money. Are you going to be able to help me? She's like, uh, I don't think so. I'm like, I'm not I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I got a lot of things. I'm running my company. I'm still working 50 hours a week. Like, think about how much, like, I'm, I'm on the call another eight every day. I'm sleeping yeah. like four hours. I'm on the call for eight to ten hours a day, and I'm working another eight. You know what I mean? Like, I get home, I'm just on calls till, like, 1 a.m., and then I'm off because they're all asleep. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm assembling multiple plans. So, like, example. Of course. Plan Plan A, B is people in the DR we have lined up. Like, they're going to go and deliver cash. Option one is people who are actually Dominican. Option two is white American mercenaries who fly in. I got a car ready. I got four assault rifles ready to buy. You can't you can't rent them nothing. It's the most illegal thing in DR. No one has guns. Yeah, like assault rifles. Yeah, I got four assault rifles, four bulletproof vest. I almost got grenades. They wanted grenades. <laughs> I swear, bro. You think I'm joking, bro? <laughs> I, I had a four by four vehicle. That's that's plan one. Then there's another plan, which is a plane flies into Cap Haitian. This is a different group. I I fly them all to Atlanta. I PJ them to Cap Haitian from Atlanta. They drive vehicle ready from Cap Haitian. They're flying in with their military shit. That's the difference here, right? They don't need to, like, rent it. They're bringing their own. I pay I, line item on the invoice, funeral cost. I'm like, I'm not paying that unless you guys die. Then I'll pay it. You know what I mean? I was like, yeah. get that shit off yeah. the invoice. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's the, why would I pay your funeral cost before you're dead, bro? If you're dead, I'll take care of your family. Like, you went to save my brother. But, like, get that shit off the line. I'm not prepaying your funeral. I expect you all to live. You know what I mean? Like, that was, like, another option. Option three was I fly in. That wasn't going to happen because my wife's about to have a kid. They depend on me. But yeah, like your dad, Your dad was potentially up. Sam, Kelsey's husband, here in the office. Yeah. He's like, I can't say much, but I've been through a lot. He's like, if you need someone to go exchange the money, I'll take care of it. And he just starts speaking Creole to me. I'm like, Stop. Bro. Stop. My brain is, dude, me and Gabe, me and Gabe were together. <laughs> I was like. He's Fuck like, that language, bro. I heard that language for 17 bro, days straight. Like, I don't want to hear it. Guys, for reference, this is like the, the whitest white guy ever, right? <laughs> he's a mullet, bro. <laughs> and he's like, he just starts speaking Creole. Me and Gabe in the gym were like, what the? I was like, at first I was like, listen, bro, like, don't risk your life. You got your girl. Like, that's how I'm talking. I'm like, bro, it's not worth it. Like, and then he's like, speaks Creole. And I'm like, you know what? He's the guy. We might be flying <laughs> down to DR soon. <laughs> So that was like I had like right. all these options that I'm lining up. Right. W one guy, bro, has Gabe on the phone. One of the mercenary guys, he's like, just tell them the guys with the green eyes are gonna show up at night if they don't let your brother go. Yeah, you can't Where say that to them. That. Then they start torturing me, bro. Like, what I do they think up? that scares yeah. them? Bro, I hung up. I'm like, the guy's retarded, bro. Yeah, I was like, never with yeah cause <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, unless he's standing outside your door ready to shoot the place right. up as the text message arrives. I'm not telling anyone. Yeah. What the fuck are you saying? Listen to this. Listen to this. By day three, Saturday night. So we got kidnapped Thursday. Thursday's day one for us. It's not the full day. Day one. That's how I'm just counting in my head. Thursday's day one. Friday, Saturday. Saturday night, one in the okay, morning. Okay, that's how we're going to count. Thursday to day one. So Friday, day two. Yeah. Saturday. Everything I'm telling you right now is like day three, four. It's Saturday. Yeah, you're, you're one day off for okay, me because cool. your full day is the first Friday. Yeah, my days are moving faster probably because I'm like. My days were. My days. Those 70 days were the fastest days of my life. Oh, really? I worked out every day, 400 push-ups a day. Doesn't show. Okay. <laughs> I lost 15 pounds inside, guys. Um, I worked out every day, 400 push-ups a day. We had a 25-pound dumbbell. I was doing like 10 sets of curls, shoulder press. I was doing everything. I was oh, you stretching. Had dumbbell. I thought you were just doing push-ups. No, no. We had, a, we had a dumbbell. Yeah. I asked him for a dumbbell. He was- You asked him for a dumbbell. Yeah, yeah. We've definitely uh, looted one of those before. They have. They've looted everything. Everything they have in there is looted. <laughs> so so I, all I can do is work out and pray. Anyways, day three, 
and and by the way, when you're locked in, I don't know if you're an atheist watching this. When you are locked in a room, okay, in the desert, with with gangsters who worship the devil, okay, in front of our cell was a. I'll let contract. you keep talking. I'll be right back. In front of our cell was a contract. This guy's made with a devil. It's it's in voodoo. It's a it's a metal stick, two wooden sticks, and a chain. You can Google it. Under it is a human sacrifice. This is what we're staring at the entire time in our cell. The Monsanjou, the the kidnapper leader, he worships the devil. So when you're locked in the room with a house of Satan in a country that's known for voodoo, okay, all you can do is pray. I don't care if you're an atheist or whatever you are, you will pray. I promise you, you will pray. No matter how much you don't believe in God, you will pray. You will believe in God. So day three, they wake us up at 1 a.m. There's this voodoo party happening outside. I wake up at 1 a.m. Sean calls me in. He goes, yo, the king is here. And I hear music outside our cell. They wake us up. I get up. Um, so many mosquitoes, right? So I'm like fully covered. I had socks. I had pants. I had a long sleeve shirt that I had that I would like put my hands through. So that way none of my skin was showing. Then I would sleep with a t-shirt on my head. That's how I avoided the mosquitoes at night. Same clothes I slept in for 17 days. We never got to wash That's them. That's disgusting. The whole time we're like, is he showering? Is he not? We're like, no, guessing. I was showering. I'm not going to waste the question. I was showering. Yeah. I, I And the, the clothes I had was, the, the boxer I had was a PSD, like one of those tight, you know, one of those tight uh, boxers. You know what I'm talking about? The thick PSD ones. Yeah. That like athletes wear. I know what you're yeah. So it stayed clean. Like I kept it pretty clean. I would yeah. only wear it right before I slept. Yeah. I would I'm shower. I'm working out all day, but my boxers are clean. Makes sense. I, w- right? I, would, I, would sh- I would, no, I wouldn't work out of my boxers. Oh, okay. I would work out of my swimsuit. Oh, I'd work out my swimsuit. And then now would, the math is math. And then like, I would he's shower every day. That's I'm like c- decontaminating. Him I would work out my swimsuit. Pressure I, wash him. <laughs> I showered every day. I would shower in my swimsuit. Okay. That way the sh- swimsuit would clean. But you're shitting in a hole, right? We we're shitting in a, yeah, there, it'll be on video. We took a video of it. We're shitting not in a hole, in a toilet, but it's a, it's practically a hole. Okay. Okay. We had to, but put, you like, had an actual shower. No, the shower was a, was a, a, a bucket. Oh, okay. A bucket of water that we would so like. The pour. shower was a bucket yeah. of water. <laughs> so, so, so you bathed. You didn't shower. Just to clarify, showers like when technology pushes the bar. water to the top. We, we, yeah. we, we, we had a soap bar and yeah. we would have to, you know, put it on our hands, put it on our yeah, body, yeah, makes sense, and yeah. then pour the bucket. Makes sense. Yeah. Day three, he comes in with a party. At this point, I know he likes me. Well, first, not yet. I don't know he likes me. After this, I knew he liked me. 400 people standing outside the cell. 400. I thought I was being executed. I swear on my life, I thought I was being executed. I bet, bro. You're like, I, this I, is I, a- I, I, I step me. to my cell, and I see every gangster there next to my cell and 400 regular people from that area standing outside my cell, and I hear music, and they go, step outside. I said, I'm dead. I said, here, this I'm is dead. A fuck, bro. I step outside in front of them all. What were you doing? Were you praying in your head? Like, what does I'm dead mean to you? Like, yeah, I'm praying. I'm praying the yeah, whole time. Yeah. Any Anytime like, I'm praying. Okay, this is it. Turns Everybody. out it's a voodoo dance. They were doing a rah-rah. They have a video of it. Uh, but they never fucking sent me it. They said they would send me it. Two girls dancing. I'm like, oh, okay. Now I got to put on a show. I don't dance. I started entertaining. Dude, I, he sucks at dancing. I got, I got in entertainment mode, okay? For 30 minutes, I'm dancing with these girls. They're like shaking ass on me okay they're just like grinding on me i'm not hard zero percent chance i'm getting hard in this situation (laughs) okay (laughs) they're dancing on me whatever and everyone's having fun the king's having fun all the gangsters having fun he hands me some u.s cash like you know three twenty dollar bills some fives i'm i'm like putting them in their like you know bras on their uh, in their uh, yeah and then uh he hands me like a fresh stack of creole like bills, nothing, like maybe a hundred dollars worth, but it's a, a bunch of bills. I tear them apart and I just on, on everybody. I'm just like tossing them. Okay, this is pure entertainment so that they like me. Yeah. And then the two girls step on the side and there's this guy, and he starts dancing. The guy, you know, in Lebanon it's not weird to dance with guys. Yeah. I'm dancing with the guy. Turns out this guy's gay. They hate gays. The gangsters hate gays. I mean, you're allowed to exist. Yeah. Don't push it on him. Yeah. So the gay's dancing, and they look at me. Sean tells me, he goes, Arab, that guy's gay. I don't hear him the first time. I'm still dancing with him. And they go, that guy's gay. And then uh, I look over. I'm like, he's gay? And I go, Masi C? Like, to make them laugh, right? Yeah. I go, Masi C? Which is I, what? It means it's the F word. I don't okay. want to say it on your podcast because okay, okay. your brand is here. 
No, it's all good. We swear on our podcast. Uh, you want me to say the F word? No. No. Because no, we're live streaming want or what? <laughs> yeah, uh, you don't want that word. <laughs> lame. Yeah, yeah. You don't whatever. want whatever. So, so well, no, no, know. not not the F word. It's not fun. The F word. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, so I say, my CC, and I scream, ah, ah, and I put my hands up and I start screaming. And they all start dying laughing, and I like leave the guy, and then the girls come back. It's start your only dancing. option. It's survival, bro. Survival, like, pure entertainment. Pure survival. Yeah. Thirty minutes. I'm sweating, and then they eventually leave, and they lock us back in the cage, go back to bed. So that was the third day. They took us. My job's entertainment. Sean's job's bartending. Anytime these guys come up to the bar, this is what I was trying to say earlier. Anytime these guys come up to the bar to grab a whiskey and they want to shake our hand through the cage, I never shake their hand sitting. I always stand up, I salute them, and then I shake their hand. Pure respect the entire time. I'm playing the game of, of like emotional friendship to these guys, okay? By the end, they loved us. Anyways, you could tell your side of the story now from the negotiation. So, so, so now... New option opens up. I have mercenary teams that can fly in. I have ones that are already on the ground. I have two that are like fly into DR and drive in. These are all our options, right? Because I'm like, I'm, I told them I'm not going to get the money on the weekend. So like that's guaranteed. I don't have to worry about that. So let me just like focus on like delivery plans. I'm right. like, how do we get delivery? So then if you want to, if you want to share my screen, my boy, Eric Spofford, who you met literally before you went, is like meant to be, you what went I mean? to his house in Miami. Oh, oh. I got you. Oh, oh, that guy, yeah, yeah. That guy. Yeah, yeah. The with, rich, the, with the rich house. Super rich guy, right? Yeah. He comes in clutch. He's like, yo, I heard your brother's taken. He's like, I got connects. I'm he like, heard without you telling him? No, I told my friend oh, who's okay. like super close with him. He's like, bro, you're okay. not believe what Eddie's going through. And he's like, he calls me. He's like, bro, you, you see him on the screen? Eric, thank you, bro. Shout out to you. I met him literally right before I flew right, to it's, It was meant to be. Like literally 12 hours before I came to his house and then you flew from there. I had a layover in Miami. I went to his house and then I flew to Dominican Republic and got in. So, so this is him. Shout out to Eric. Fucking big shout out. So, if, if you guys want to learn about making money, business, whatever, follow this guy because he's a god. Sold his company for over hundred million dollars. This dude sold his company for over hundred million. Met you for only a few hours, and because of his care for me and our friendship, he he literally went. Bro, he called me every day multiple times. Followed up with people. Legend. Like, so I can't say who, but he connected me with. You can stop sharing. He connected me with a really f well-known person in Haiti, to put it that way. Okay? okay. Someone who had utmost respect. Someone who within an hour wasn't on a phone call with barbecue. Do you get what I'm saying? Right. Oh, I know who. Okay. You can't because say who. You can't. No, no, no. It's not who you know. Oh, uh, okay. It's who got me to the person that you know. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 bigger than that. So I can't say his name because he doesn't give me permission to. Maybe in your videos we can throw who this person is once he gives me a clearance. But It's not the man who wants to live stream with me? No, not uh, uh, maybe, yeah. The rapper, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Zoe. I guess. Well, the no, name's we're gonna right. live stream and we're gonna shout out to Zoe. because okay. Zo Zoe helped a lot. Shout out to Zoe. So he Dallas. gets a call with barbecue. Yeah, you, you don't know this. This is day three, bro. I'm on a call with barbecue. Nah, you shout out, shout saying? out, shout out, Zoe Dollars. Shout out Zoe Dollars for helping heavily. Bro, shout out and Eric and Zoe. They were like the tag team of tag teams I've never seen. Yeah, before. shout out to them for helping us get out. So and, as and a very genuine guy, by the way, for people who are well known. When I spoke to him on WhatsApp after I was out, very genuine guy, bro. Sitting there eating Chick-fil-A, talking, you know, cracking jokes with us. Like, very, very genuine guy. So so just so you uh, have context, Z Zoe, like, is plugged down there. Like, more plugged than you think. He had no reason to help me, guys. Like, this, I'm just a friend of a friend. He stuck his neck out for me. Like, was calling me from, he lost his phone. He was calling me from his iMessage, like, his account. You know what I mean? Just to make sure this is good. And so he talks to barbecue. I'm like, yo, guys, I'm in talks with barbecue. Like, we're we're good. We're gonna get him out, right? Like you said, there's gangs and they all have a treaty, but they don't like mess with each other, right? And so he called your boy, big boss, King. He called him. I'm on side and was like, You got someone who's like close to my relative and friend, like, let him go. And he's like, No, we're not gonna let him go. He's like, Bro, we agreed no kidnapping. He's like, We're not gonna let him go. And so he's like, I can't, I'm not gonna go start a war with these guys. Over you, yeah. You know what I mean, of like course. some white guy, right? A like, random white guy. Yeah, he's he's busy taking over the country. Of course, at this point. of you course. I mean? The so guy's like, leading an insurrection against the entire government. That's it. And you know what? You know what your dad's thinking the whole time? He's still thinking about this interview you had with barbecue, and he's like, and I think it's fake, right? So I think like you don't actually have one. He thinks you have one. He's like, he's like, oh, you can talk to barbecue. He's like, tell him how could he let a journalist get kidnapped on the way to see him? I'm like, dad, they don't care. 
Like this is like another family yeah. Yeah, yeah. who doesn't give a fuck what this guy thinks because yeah. they see money and yeah, that's yeah. it. You know what right. I mean? Like he couldn't comprehend that for like five days straight. So that was a tough thing to overcome. Anyways, we have a whole group. By the way, I love the uh, side note. I love the barbecue branding. Barbecue, great branding. What? Chef's kiss as bad marketing. That's bad marketing. Barbecue. Approved. Barbecue. People are eating people and it's Haiti. the hardest thing ever. Like, it's the hardest, <laughs> most well branded game. That's why I wanted to like, interview him, bro. Osama bin Laden. Think about how hard that one is. Barbecue. Bar- barbecue is like, yo, I'm not. You know what I mean? <laughs> Household staple name, bro. Barbecue. So you can uh, uh, let me share my screen. No, you can share and, my and, screen, and right? I would like to say something too while he's sharing his screen. Share my screen. You're probably wondering. Share the screen. You're probably wondering like why we're so positive. Positivity saved my life in there. I'm one of the only people that has come out of kidnapping with this guy untouched. Well, no, you're white. There's a lot of white people that come out untouched. There's uh, there's a there's a there's a there's many. No, the other even the French guy that got kidnapped, they beat him. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, you're saying untouched like yeah. Untouched. Not, not alive, like untouched. untouched. Yeah, yeah. They didn't touch me. So so you guys can see my screen? They can see it. So like how many days this is at this point, how many days have you been held captive? This is Sunday, right? So we're on the same timeline now. How many days have you been held captive? 80 hours. And they're like, as of now, this hasn't been revealed to news outlets, only his friends, correct? I was like, yeah, no media. Like, I was like, just to run down for you, three people go to Haiti plus myself, my cameraman, two people by my side for the exchange, one person in the back with the long rifle. We go in four by four vehicle. This we is ne- Miles? This is Miles telling me. And I'm Lord telling Miles. I'm telling our barbecue group chat. We have a chat called Barbecue. Uh, okay. And it's me, Sammy, and the Dominicans. Uh, okay. And we're like, it's me, Sammy, and them. Dominican oh. friends that I know? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And their names are on here, so it's not a big deal. Um, it's like, uh, and he's, so he goes back and forth. I'm like, bro, where the fuck is the guns and all the shit? And then eventually, and, you know, this is, I don't even know how, if I'm supposed to leak this information, it's pretty don't, crazy. Don't, don't, don't. Okay, okay, okay. But, don't, yeah, don't, don't guns can't come from, yeah, 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 turn it off. Anyways, so they, they get me everything through other people. They're like, these other people, we're not involved, but these other people can exchange this for you. Here's how much money they want. Right. Once you deal that exchange, you have to get rid of the guns when you're done. Like, no one will take them back. So, yeah. like, by Sunday, this is day three, so pre-Monday, which is when I know we're going to talk, start talking money again, we have, like, six plans to get you out. And I'm like, it's life or death. I might, like, actually pull some Tom Cruise shit and, like, Right. Have to go get his ass out. Right. But Eric connects me with Zoe. Zoe talks to Barbecue because Zoe, ta- Zoe ta- his mom and Barbecue are like homies. Like she takes, she like took care of him for a bit. Right. So he talks to him. He's like, no luck, homie. But I know exactly who has him. These are some fuck boys. I'm like, what does that mean? And he sends me a video. I can't share it on stream. But it's three black dudes beheaded and they're cutting their eyes out with a knife. They're dead already. They're beheaded. From the gang that I'm kidnapped by. From the gang. The gang. The g- I can't. I can't. You can show me. Oh, show sure. I haven't seen it Oh, yet. you've never seen it? No. Bro, I'm locked in a cage. Bro, I, bro, bro. Think whenever about. Whenever I have my phone, you got to think about it. Whenever I have my phone for the hour or however you're long. You're right, you're right, you're right. I'm texting whoever I can to get oh, info. Oh. It's screen mirroring. Don't show it. Do not. It'll get banned. It's not screen I'll turn Make it sure off. Make sure it's not screen mirroring. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's okay, fine. Here. I'll show it here. Look, look, look. Do not point that phone towards me, I swear to God. Holy shit. Yes, yes, bro. I got this video. These are the guys that have your brother. This is Monday, day four. I almost pooped, bro. Bro, it's disgusting. You're watching the whole thing? It's disgusting. You're watching until his eye gets taken out of his socket. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah, yeah, this is real. I couldn't, I obviously am not telling your parents. For, 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 for everyone watching, it's three beheaded heads on the ground on the cement but they're all black this is a very important key in the like assumption of your life he's like he's white they won't touch him but this is what they'll do if he's black and i'm like sweating for sean in the back of my head i'm like i can't show this to Brittany, like his girl like (laughs) huge problem you get what i'm saying i'm like so i i I, is that her name bridget 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 Bridget, i say that it's Brittany. tough Anyways, (laughs) anyways <laughs> so so <laughs> this is the cash by the way from the bank nice yeah so nice. so so i get this video and i can't share it with your parents mom would have died mom would have literally died from that video i shared it with your dad after you like confirmed god in america i was yeah. like hey this is what i held on my chest for two weeks without telling you guys you're welcome you know what i mean like <laughs> if you saw this you'd be sweating bullets like if mom saw this she would have she would have flown herself down with all the cash of playing and left them both and taking you out. You yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to drag this out. So now we get into the next week, and every day I'm telling him I got more money. Yeah. I got more yeah, money. Right. And, like, I, I, I'm, I'm talking to more people who negotiate, 
And they're like, usually you'll end up at about 10% of what the number was. Eventually you get to, let's say, 7% of what the number was. You get at like 33K in Dominican Republic, not even Haiti yet. Oh, me, you're saying. I'm like, you said you could g- deliver them 33K in Dominican Republic. Exactly, right? And this is like Tuesday. We still have no person to bring the money over the border. Yeah, yeah, which is a good stall for the, us. For anyone st- watching, Dominican Republic and Haiti are the same <laughs> island. They're split in half. And Dominican Republic is safe relatively, you know, like a regular country because there's a lot of tourism there. Haiti is the most dangerous country in the world right now. So we have... This Same is, island. Share the screen. Share my screen. This is the location you were at, just so everyone has context. So this is like the capital down here. And then this is where you were the whole time. I have it on the map just so you have context. You've never... I mean, yeah. I'm sure you've seen it. But like, um, stop sharing for a second. I'm going to share... This is the border for context so everyone can understand it. This is the border. So the right side is Dominican. The left side is Haiti. The problem is, here's the real problem. No Dominicans are allowed into Haiti. No. Like the the Dominican side will stop them. Right. And no one can even get. I'm like, how close can you get to the border? He's like, like two. I'm like, two miles? Like, that's pretty good. Like, get me two miles close. He's like, oh, two hours driving. I'm like. Really? I'm like, you're joking. He's like, yeah, the checkpoint that's two hours away from the border will stop us from going any further Can I get more ice on as me? long as we're not Dominican. I'm like, yeah. fuck me. It has to be like a white person flying in. Like it's like Which this, is the worst case. This scenario. job just got so much harder, bro. By the way, this entire time, I've not seen a single white person in the country. Even when I was in the North, Cap Haitian, I'm the only white person I've seen in the entire country. Bro, I can't believe that I'm right here standing in front of you, untouched, unharmed. Which is why everyone thinks it's fake. Exactly. Cause you're, it was just so good. Hey, good, a good marketing scheme. Hey, we did it. We did it. Everyone believes it for sure. All right, keep going, keep going. So what what's going on now? You're like you're like a five days in at this point. So five days in. Um, they think I got money. We have no way of delivering it, right? Five days in, where we hate this translator guy that you're speaking to. Uh, he's the biggest liar that we've ever seen in our lives. Me or the guy that you're talking? No, the Emerson. M, let's call oh, your M. boy, your boy from the gang side. Yeah, the gangs, the gang. He's all over the place. Or one day he's up, one day he's down. He's like fucking. He's one like day a, he says he's like a meme coin, days. bro. He'll tell us he'll come back with the phones in twenty minutes. It takes him six hours. I started realizing they're unprofessional, and that's when I started getting more aggressive. I don't they know they know. would set up a time to call my brother, twelve they, p.m. They'd call at eight p.m. But you, but do you notice what I was doing? Oh, you wouldn't know it from your end, but I was intentionally not answering. Oh, really? I, I skipped probably eight to ten calls that you called that I didn't pick up on purpose. Oh, okay. Like, if I'd be like, sorry, busy, I wouldn't be busy. One time I was driving in my car. I'm like, I can't let them see this You're video. In a Lambo? I no, I was in the <laughs> M5. But, you, <laughs> but even in the M5, I'm like, it's a $120,000 car, hundred thirty grand. Like, they can't see this. Like, I was like, one second. So what I did was I, I, like, some calls I would just skip just so everyone knows, like, I'm trying to let them know they don't dictate the schedule all the time either. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, yeah no, you were so, playing well. So, like, they would call me, and I'd be like, sorry, busy, or I would just see it, and I'd be like, I'm not going to receive I do remember that. It would take, like, pretend. 40 minutes. I'd, I'd make them wait for 40 minutes until— Exactly. And, dude, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, that's leverage. Yeah, like, if, for sure. If they're doing that, we're in good shape, right? And if they and sometimes I knew it came with a risk of not talking to you tonight, but I was like, he's good. As yeah. long as I know he's good, I don't care. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, um— what was I talking about? The calls? Oh, yeah. So, bro. So, I'm driving my M5, and I'm like, fuck. They want, they're they like, you're like, boss is here. I'm like, fuck me. Worst time ever. I'm driving to a friend's house. at This This is kind of like a flashback. I'm just so you know how I was treating it. I was driving to a friend's house. He was giving me 50K cash. So I'm driving to pick up 50K cash. I'm in my M5, and I'm like, they're calling me. I got to do something else. But my friend's leaving his house, so I have to get the cash in five minutes. So, I'm like, I'll call you in 10. So, I get to the house. I pick up the cash. And on the way, I'm scouting cars in the plazas. I'm like, what's the shittiest looking car? I can find. And I find this beat down 2000, like two, like Nissan Max, but like, like not, not our Ultima. Our Ultima is bad. It's like 20, 20, 205. Yeah, yeah. And it's already bad. This is way worse. Like rust, the whole thing. Clearly no one's turning this thing on. It's like in the corner of a plaza. I'm like, perfect. So I'm like, hey, almost back. Like I can call soon. I pull up and I stand outside that car. I park my car in the middle of like the whole lot with all the cars and I stand next to this beat down rusted ass Nissan <laughs> and, I, and I'm videoing you like like angling it like so you can see the car so I'm like I'm like I gotta keep pushing this agenda as much as I can right right, right so right. that's how I'm playing it from my end I'm like I need to inside be- inside I'm playing the same thing with him I'm going because he's like you know we sold our car we sold our house we, we not our house we sold our car we've sold you're like you boat. sold my car I'm like I'm like I'm like hey Eddie I, I think there's an extra stack of like 
four thousand cash that I got in case you know one of us gets sick again. And and Eddie was like, I already got it, I already took it from there. And then and then I was like, you didn't sell my car, did you? And he goes, I sold your car, bro. And I You're was like, like no. Oh. And you almost laughed, by the way. I know, I almost laughed. You bro. smirked. <laughs> you smirked, and I saw it. And I was like, fuck, I can't look. I can't look because I'm about to laugh. I'm I'm talking to this guy about my brother's life, and I'm about to laugh in his face. Like it was so close. That was the day that you filmed I the video call, right? I filmed it. I filmed the whole time. <laughs> I have an upfront I, POV. I right. call Eddie because they left the translator by himself, and the translator was retarded. I, I tell Eddie, I say in Arabic, I go. You're skipping ahead, though. You're skipping ahead. Uh, this okay, is like, right. This, okay, is when, yeah. this is when I went for his throat. You're right. I you're saw right. it. I was like, this is it. <laughs> you're skipping ahead. So, so, so I tell him, do you, do you sell the car? He goes, yeah. I said, no, damn. How am I, how am I going to work? You know, like, and, and he I'm was. like, your life's more important than the world. Yeah, Don't yeah, worry. yeah. You're like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm all in on that agenda. Continue, continue. I'm like, I got whatever I could for the car. He's calling it your mom and dad so we don't say our parents' information. We have the same mom and dad. We have the same mom and dad. We slept in the same bedroom for years. Mom and dad. Thank you for clarifying. for Very, very important moderation. Yeah, it's just that they don't, they're, they shouldn't be subject to the stuff that we do on the internet. Okay, you know? so pivotal point. I have, I have all these solutions ready, and I'm ready to go in, but I'm also, like, aware that it's three weeks, and we're, we can drag this out. Like, it's, I'm, I'm no longer concerned for your life. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, I also you're okay with me dying. I'm no, kidding, no, I was okay kidding, day I'm one. Oh, okay, <laughs> I was like, kill him for six hundred. That's why I needed you negotiate. Like six hundred, <laughs> let him die. We can't get it to you. You know what I mean? <laughs> and even when it was at three hundred, I wasn't like, oh, I'm gonna get it. I'm like, listen, it's gonna take years. Yeah. Like, you want to keep him for years? We, you can keep him for years, but it's gonna take years. I'll yeah. get you three hundred. But like, are you ready to hold him for years? I was like, I know he's annoying. Like, I made them laugh. I was like, I know he's annoying you guys because, man, I've had a peaceful week without him here. <laughs> it's been great not having him. You'll see it in one of the recordings. I was just fucking with them. I'm like, you can keep him. So, but on Thursday, which is one weekend, I lost it because. You flipped? I flipped because our parents didn't stop. Like, oh. the, like, think about the pressure. Huh? Which clip? Oh, I did not record that. Yeah. No, that's a side uh, of me no one can yeah. see. Yeah. There, was, there was one. There was, I remember it because I'd heard it too, and I was like, "Oh, this is gonna fuck Eddie's mental." I had your Lamborghini. There was one. There was one thirty-second voice note that mom sent one of the days, and it was just like, "Oh God, I can't it even imagine." It was just her freaking the fuck out when you were just trying to act calm, and I was like, "It's over." I was like, "If I'm Eddie, this is the last fucking thing I want to hear." No, it was like so. It was like so mentally draining because you could hear the hurt. That's my younger voice. brother speaking. If you guys are wondering who's speaking, that's my. So I have two brothers. You guys know my younger brother who tweeted when we were kidnapped, and you guys know my older brother who it wasn't really public that we were brothers unless you've seen his podcast, Bad Marketing Podcast. I've been on his podcast many times, but this is my older brother because my name wasn't public before this whole ordeal. So you guys know my little brother, Twitch streamer, Fortnite player. My older brother, so my younger brother's. So yeah, speaker. so she she. Anyways, the, the real thing was, I remember I was at the gym. I I woke up early that day to take calls and like work. So like I've been waking up earlier to work and then working out in the middle of the day. So I go to the gym like at like eleven or twelve, and I remember like leaving and like, my wife is done emotionally because yeah. my mom is calling her. Oh yeah. All morning, all day, and she's she's taking it like a champ. But at some point, she, it's like she doesn't stop it. Of she. Course. She filters it and brings it to me in a way, right? So it's still getting to me. Yeah, mom lets it out on her. She's pregnant about to have a baby. Bro, she's doing, she's worst doing, timing ever. She's doing less than a month. Worst timing ever, but also best timing for all the negotiations. If I got kidnapped at another time, I'd still be in there. Because every bank is closed. Borders are all closed. Western Union, everything. You can't get cash in the country. That's and the reason. Did you like my tax play? That was a good one. Oh, uh, that you just paid taxes? Everyone just paid taxes. Yeah, but they don't understand what that means. I know. I saw you trying to explain it to them. It was so no, good, though. I was trying understood. to explain it to them. I pulled up to, like, you're like, taxes what he's saying is, You're like, what he's saying is you kidnapped me on the worst day possible. Yeah. Everyone just paid taxes. I'm trying to explain to them what taxes are. Or I'm, trying to, I'm, trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to tell them that no one has money. I'm like, look, and I screenshotted, like, tax day was yesterday. He screenshots like, three paragraphs. They're not even reading but no, the two texts. No, but it's one it. sentence highlighted. Yeah, yeah, but but... They don't understand. I'm trying to explain. I get it, it bro, but I don't see that. I'm of like, course, of what course, leverage of can I use to You think my they're tech? smart? These guys are professional no, kidnappers. I think just one guy can read. That's all I think. Yeah. Which is only enough. one guy could read. Which is all I needed. Yeah, you know? yeah. But like, he wasn't reading. Yeah, he wasn't reading. So, anyways, this is so I Thursday, one weekend, I I fold my hand and I say, I'm no longer dealing with this. Like, I'm gonna still save you, but I'm not gonna be the person that communicates with you 
because that is that is pressure from my mom to me, right? From mom, yeah, to which me, is too much. Okay. Which is too much on top of me still running the company, still having pressure like, from mom is so much. You're it, also forgetting an important detail. The reason it was so hard was because on top of the pressure, because Eddie was trying to like do it all. They were working low key, like they were trying to help out, but it oh, was they're doing key. stuff against me. It was fucking stop. Eddie. No, 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 like bro, stop, bro, like like new stuff and shit started getting leaked, and like I'm like over here like damning my hacker friends, like get this taken down. They're like leaking that you're kidnapped in Haiti. Yeah, some Haitian reporter in Creole leaked bro. that you were kidnapped a weekend, and he had with his hacker friend take name, it down with your full name. I don't know. He no, never no, took no, it down. I, I, I didn't get that one down because like no, no, no. I was like, but I, I was like, I saw that one. I saw because because my Twitter, I was opening my Twitter. I saw it before three days before the news came out. Some some journal, independent journal, exactly. It got like four likes, and he posted it under my tweet. He goes, uh. News of American YouTuber kidnapped and, by the four hundred. And 400 people start speculating: game. Is this is this the Arab guy? Is this him? Like, no, he put a picture of my passport. No, no that, that, that was, was way, way later. Was way really? After. Yeah. I tell you, on like day three. No, no, day day like five, six, seven. Was it? Day, five, six, yeah, it was, it was like, like a weekend. On. It was right before I broke. And like no one saw it, so I didn't even click on it on my account just so it wouldn't show up in anyone's feed like that I've seen. Oh, like okay, the okay. day before, I I folded like and not folded, but like passed it on to to dad. I I got home. And I open my phone, and that's the tweet. Isn't it crazy that we've just been lying for the last three hours, and this has all been fake? Don't, don't even joke like that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy because it's all documented, right? Like, yeah. There's like no yeah, one yeah. can say shit. So, but why were you able to document it if you were kidnapped? Uh, so, <laughs> so I get home, I sit outside. I'm like, oh, like, time to like take a little like 20 minute break before I get back to like calling more uh, mercenary groups and all this shit that I'm dealing with. I open my phone. Your dad proudly forwards me the tweet. Proudly. Check this out. Dad's so, so gassed about the fact that, like, his I son's kidnapped. Him. Dad's, like, dad's addicted to the clout now. Bro, I call them. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, what is this? Bro, every, every few minutes is getting, like, a thousand impressions. I'm sweating. Really? I'm like, every fucking Haitian is going to see this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who cares? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, all yeah. it takes, yeah, yeah. bro. Haiti's hey, it. so small. It's 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 in Creole. Like who else? Takes. Who else is fa- my my Haitian friends start messaging me, like in the U.S. Hey, bro, the ones that are because I've communicated with all of them. When it goes viral on a tweet, it goes viral on TikTok, and then the Mont Saint Jus sees it. Exactly. And I'm I'm like, what the fuck is it? He's like, no, this is good. Like, I'm like, you clearly. Oh, sorry, sorry, I messed up the timeline. This was one day after I handed it off. So no I'm money. like, no, oh, no, no, the response. It was like day seven, eight. Yeah. The we handed off the, the money day 12. So uh, before, before we get to that, Thursday, which is day seven. So one week from the Thursday you got kidnapped. I handed it off. I said, I'm done with this. You take point and talk. And 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 to, to mom and dad, maybe they thought I gave up. But what really happened was I no longer had the responsibility of mom talking. I'm still working just as hard trying to get you out. But, like, I'm getting finalized solutions on the ground. You get what I'm saying? Right. While they still do their thing. Bro, where I was, I'm telling you, a mercenary team, no way they're coming in to get me without two helicopters. Uh, There's they had they had like eleven helicopters on the island. Okay. Where yeah, yeah, yeah. No, where no. I was, no vehicle. I don't care if it's a buggy made for whatever, I am not leaving that place. I was in the most fucked no, no. terrain it was a helicopter. that it was you a helicopter. can be in. It was a helicopter. The the problem is there was a day that I was gonna send them in to get you, and they lost the helicopter that morning. Like to a gang, and he's like, "We need to chill a little bit. Like, we need to lay low." Right. I'm like, "Fuck me, bro! You're kidding me!" Like, which is good because you got other people. Because they, I knew they were legit because they had government tech. They were texting me when your phone was on before you did. Yeah. Like they'd be like, "Hey, his phone just pinged." You know okay, what I mean? Right. We know where he is. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm like, "They're like, can you confirm?" And I'll send what pops up on your location. And be like, "Perfect. That's exactly where we see him." You know what I mean? So, anyways, one weekend I fold, I pass on the responsibility to dad to communicate. I tell the guys there's a video of it. I'm like, listen, this is all the money I got. We can't get any more money. I'm no longer responsible for dealing with this. You can speak with his father. Here's his number. You know, he's going to call you, whatever. And then they start communicating with dad. Right. And by that point, dad had found someone in Haiti. Dad had found a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend. Five. No, no, just a friend of a friend. No, it was was, was one. No, it wasn't. Trust me, I know exactly who it is. It's. It was F's friend. Yeah. His, it was F's brother, his uh. friend, who took care of the guy who negotiated for us, his mother, for a few years. Oh, okay, okay. So he, so okay. he so wanted to take care of it. like three people down. Okay. Yeah, four people down. Okay, we only knew F. A random dude. Yeah. A random dude. We have no idea who's just Lebanese in Haiti. Which is crazy to show the rest of the story because he was deeply involved. 
yeah, how strong just being Lebanese him. was. This guy was a machine. Yeah. So. And we thought he was a liar. We thought he stole the first payment. We didn't. Well, yeah. I did. On the inside, I was like, why would you exchange the money without seeing us? So anyways, so, day, so, so day here's, 10. So th no, this is important. So day seven, I handed off. Day eight, tweet leaks. Okay. Tweet Creole. I'm, I'm going, I'm like, I fucking just gave you responsibility 12 hours ago. And it's already on Twitter. Like, are you are you brain dead? I spent two weeks trying to silence it. Like, I got in the biggest argument with that over it. I'm yes. like, because here, here, here's the concept, and you can get into that. My brain, which is very logical, is saying the more attention he has, the more valuable he is. I'm trying to tell them I'm broke. I, Bro, they, before you even told me, I blocked. Attention goes out. I, I I'm sure Victor, someone's going to find I out you got a Lamborghini. I was like, make my shit private right now. Block him on everything. Like, we're, he's like, what is this? He told me yesterday, he's like, bro, I thought you were doing some sketchy ass shit. My brother's got a Lambo on his Instagram <laughs> profile. Like, everywhere. You know, everywhere. like, yeah, yeah, if, yeah. if they find out he's got a Lambo, we're fucked. We're fucked. They're going to think that you can bring $500,000 into Haiti. Oh, whoa. They're just not walk even it right in. Yeah, they just walk it right in. Just drive it in That's on my Lambo. That's just how it works. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> drive, just go fast over the water, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> So, so that's day seven, day eight, he, that leaks. I go off. I'm like, dude, you're hurting our leverage at this point. So now we're in Saturday, Sunday again. So we're a week later, Saturday, Sunday. And from our angle, they're in charge. But, like, he's asking me advice. He's like, what do you think I should do here? I appreciated that. He was going back and forth with me. And I was like, no, don't do this. Like, I'm, I'm like, more aggressive. The and Lebanese guy. No, my uh, dad. Oh, okay. Before. Lebanese guy wasn't. Let's call Lebanese guy T. Let's call him T. Okay, cool. So T gets money on. T confirms on Saturday that he's got money. Okay. Okay. Sunday, so this is nine days after. So he's we, got money, cash, cash. He's in got Haiti, half in Haitian, half in dollars. Let's say he's got enough money, and we're like, okay, cool, we'll give it to you. Just like give him, like give him the money. This is Saturday. Sunday is like a religious holiday, so we all go to church. Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday. We all come back together. We're all hanging out. That was the day. It already happened. No, no. no, no. Happened. That was the day that you guys call, and you're like, hey, we're gonna do the exchange today. This is like 4 p.m. No, we're going to do the exchange today. Yes. I, yes. Do. Originally, uh, trust me, I'm 4 p.m. No, I said we're getting released. Yeah, which to, they, yeah, the to king, uh, The which, king came up to us at 6 in the morning. On Sunday? Uh, Monsanjou came up to us at 6 in the morning. Are you keeping track of days? I wrote it. I wrote it on a boarding uh, okay, pass. Okay. I had a boarding pass in there. I wrote all the days of Do you still have it or no? Important events. Yeah, it's 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 at home. Okay. I wrote a bo on a boarding pass all the important events. So, so whatever the day that was, was, I think it was day 10 or 11. He comes up to us in the morning, 6 a.m. I'm already standing at the gate. He comes up to see his marijuana plant that's right outside our gate. And he goes, uh, I'm going to let you out. I like you. I'm going to release you. Whatever you have, I'm going to take it. And you're going to go. I'm like, thank God. Like, glory be to God. So that whole day we're excited we're getting out. We don't get out. We get told that the next morning we're going to be released. So this 4 is Sunday or Saturday. So oh, what, whatever day, when did the payment happen? The next morning? The next the next payment happened Monday. Okay, so this was Sunday. Okay, perfect. So let me tell you what happened on Sunday because okay. I'm seeing this side. We get the call, hey, we're getting released. And you're on the phone with dad or they are, someone is. And dad's talking right. to you for like, this is the longest call yet. It's like 40 minutes long. Really? Yeah. With the translator? Yeah. Am I on it? I don't know. Dad's just on his cell phone. Okay. I'm like, I'm going to give him space. I know what it's like to just like, I'm like, I, I trust him to make this decision. Like, it's not... And your mom's like, I get him out. One rule. I gave dad one rule. I, we all know the rule. Do not exchange me. It was all our rules. Without hearing my voice or seeing my face and me speaking to you in Arabic. No, no. I told because them. Because the, they can, maybe they're good with AI. No, it's not Maybe. I maybe. Just, I told them, I was like, you're not allowed to make the exchange unless you see him with your eyes, not on a phone. I was like, he doesn't need to be next to you. He could be, he could be a hundred yards away. Like you need to be able to see him before you make any exchange. Like, like no question. No oh, question. for sure. For sure, for sure. We'd be stupid. One rule. We'd be One stupid. rule. I emphasized it 10 times. We'd be stupid to do it that way uh, without doing it that way, of course. So this is Sunday. There's pressure. Your mom's like, get him out tonight. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Please, please, please. Please, God. Thank you. Palm Sunday. Get him out tonight. It's happening. She's putting pressure. She's, like, sweating at the house. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm going to leave. This exchange probably isn't happening because there's a curfew, by the way. Mm. So a curfew at seven in the country. Anybody has to be inside. So start, it started getting close to seven. I'm like, it's not going to happen. I went home. Right. Next day was my track day with a Lambo. So Victor and I are out on the track before next day, before you're out on the track, before any of this happens, okay. 4 a.m. I'm out at our gates. Roosters are crowing before the sun comes out. 4 a.m. I'm at my gates ready. We were told last night we're being released today. I'm wearing my nice clothes. I kept one nice shirt for the day I get released. 
Okay, I'm wearing my cl nice clothes. I'm standing at the gate. Standing, not sitting. I'm standing at 4 a.m. 7 a.m. He comes. He goes, you're getting released at 8. 8 a.m. goes by. He goes, you're getting released at 10. 10 a.m. goes by. It's now 1 p.m. Okay, what happened? We've been released yet. 7 p.m. The king comes. And he goes, the money's not enough. I know you can get more. Sean tells him. The king. Yeah, the king. Okay. La Mont saint -Jou, The guy who's wanted by the FBI. Sean looks at him and he goes, we, we can't. How are we going to get money into the country? And he looks at him and he goes, you're lying. And he won't look me in the eyes. He used to look me in the eyes. He won't look me in the eyes anymore. It's like he feels bad. Yeah, yeah. I know he feels bad for what he's doing to us yeah. because I've given him zero reason to hate us. I've yeah. shown him pure respect. We've taken care of everybody in there. Sometimes they've left their guns in front of us. Yeah. And we don't even reach for them. Yeah. Okay? Which is important here. Important. Very yeah. important. Chances of survival much lower. We might kill them, but we're not getting out of no. Yeah. Just in general, like, shows that, like, you acting a certain way, but without showing weakness is, like, yeah. really important. I mean, bro, the, even day one, he brought in one of his biggest dogs, because we had five dogs surrounding us at all times. He brought in one of his biggest dogs, and he put it in front of me. And if you've seen my cartel video, you know I'm afraid of dogs. Afraid of those scary dogs that bark. That dog, I showed zero fear. I petted that bitch. I stood there. <laughs> I, st I, st I was not allowed to show fear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the, whatever came came yeah. through me, glory be to God, I petted that thing, bro. This dog was angry, tough. Anyways, he tells us it's not enough. I'm like, well, maybe he saw the video. We sent him a video of the cash of the, of the 38K. Maybe he saw the video and he said it was enough. I thought he agreed yesterday that it was enough. But yeah, then yeah. I get my phone at 11. 11 p.m. I called dad. A.m. P.m. This is on Sunday, though. Same night. It's Monday after the exchange. Oh, after the exchange. Okay, let me tell the exchange Okay, yeah, part. go ahead. This is important. Yeah. I'm like, cool, we're good. Lambo you guys are going to exchange. It's Lambo track day. I'm like, so how it works is there's four What's heats. What's Lambo track day? You're shooting content with the Lambo on the track? There's an actual racetrack. Okay. And we're ripping it as hard as we can. Okay. It's like it's the man... Yeah, the manliest day ever. You just okay. imagine, like, you melt your tires, your testosterone goes up 200 points. Like, okay, right. right. It's all guaranteed. Right, you know right. what I mean? So <laughs> Victor and I at the track, we're, like, how it works is there's four groups. Your group goes, and then 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. So every hour, you go for 20 minutes, right? right? Every 80 minutes, you go for 20. So the rest of the 60, I'm, like, on my phone, like, keep me updated, whatever. I go, I hit the track, hit my record time. I'm on a high. I'm, like, I'm fucking eating pavement. You know what I mean? I'm fucking, I'm sick of driving. I get off the track. I open my phone. Text from your brother. We need LeBron James back in the game. That's what he said. He said, they took the money. No brother. I'm like, stop. Stop. That's the worst thing ever. Because I'm home. So I'm seeing mom and dad work against Eddie while Eddie was negotiating. Why and do so, they not trust you? No, like, you are so the only one capable so of listen, doing this. Listen, they, they don't. They don't. The do reason. Them. I we know, can't I can't blame them. them. You're right. right. I can't blame them. Their son's kidnapped and the most And Gabe, bro, yeah. Gabe, in the world. Gabe, Gabe is like the closest person in the situation, like outside of our family. And like even what he saw was like one percent. And like he can tell you the amount of stress that we we're dealing with. Go, bro, like, go continue. So Eddie's like My little brother's the only one who's home who lives yeah, with my I'm parents. With right. My mom. So he sees it all. Bro, and Eddie's just like going to work, and I'm seeing them work against him. And then here's what I think, because you said the guy said he's gonna let you out without anything the day before, right? Not without anything, with what we no, got, with with what he had already in there, yeah, like before the 40k, yeah, with what you brought him. No, you no, no, said, with what we have. No, no, with what the with the, with the 38k. No, though. with no, the 38k. No, before, that, before that, before that. No, they were never gonna Sunday. let us out. They were never. Anything. No, there was the no, number with, was with what we have. With what you have. Okay, whatever. So the point is, is I see Eddie negotiating, and I also see you telling us inside information, like, "Yo, keep going. It's working." Like you hear everything they're saying, and then I hear mom and dad. Well, dad, like, mom panicking, and dad, like, kind of working a different route than Eddie, but that different route is giving useless people information for no reason, and it's like low key fucking Eddie. And so when they handed it off. Well, you know your dad. He's so trusting. So everyone that tells him I have connections, he tells them what happens. It hits the news. Like, that's what's happening. Ah, uh, dad would tell people. And then, like, he his it random Haitian news. friend would go tell his fucking journalist friend. And then his journalist friend would fucking put on TV. You get what I'm saying? Right. So it's like all this shit working against me. And, and for context, so everyone knows, before this exchange, this is why we went for the exchange. When I was going to hand it off, I forgot about this detail. This was the most important one. When I, on the call, when I said I'm giving it to my dad. He was talking to me about his rap career. That was that call. 
That's the call I told you to film. That's the call he slipped. I I I call them. Okay, before you do that call, I know this guy's solo now, the translator, and we have seduced him enough to be with us. I was handing him my power banks. Okay, he'd come give us our phones for twenty minutes. He go, I gotta go charge my phone. I go, what do you mean you gotta charge your phone? I got a power bank. He goes, I can charge here. I'm like, you could charge faster than yours. Watch this. I bring in my power bank. You know, I got top tier power banks. I do content. I need to record always. The the chargers they use are like you know shitty twenty cent power bo boxes that overheat your phone. So I give him my power bank. He sits there. God bless. God bless. Glory be to God. He sent us a girlfriend for the translator on day five. He starts talking to this new girl. Now he's in love with her. So the entire time he brings us our phone, he's not checking our phones. He should be checking our phones because the king gave him a rule. But he's not checking our phones. He's texting this girl. Yo, you know, he's talking Women. to her in swag. Women. God bless <laughs> Women saved us, okay? <laughs> I give him my charger and he charges entire. He sit there for two hours. We would use our phones without him seeing. I was snapping videos of the area. This is, this is when you started going off. Yeah. This, this is this, when you started sending me everything. This is when I was going off, yeah. bro. I, I'd send you shit, delete instantly. I'd send Sneeko shit, delete instantly. I'd send Sammy shit, delete instantly. I sent all the boys any info we had. Do not reply. Don't text back. Some people, first of all, whoever you are, if I text you to do not text back, they will kill me, and you texted me. Fuck you. They're retarded. Bro. Fuck you. I gave you one rule, all caps. Do not text back. They will kill me, and you would respond. Respond with a "Are you okay?" question mark. How stupid are you? Okay. Bro, like so, life and death. This is like, no, no, exactly. Now you know, who's, bro. You know I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I know who I'm. Within a zombie apocalypse after this for sure. So like, so I, I know who's dying. I'm leaving some friends behind. So so like, so this guy this guy die. was speaking to the girl, right? So where where was it? What day was I? Sorry, remind me. This I'm, is the day I gave it up, but he this is where he slipped and I said we're going okay, for the throat. Okay, he called listen, he calls you. I call my brother. I knew this guy was solo by himself now and we had seduced him enough. Okay. Seduced not sexually, but befriended him on the to the point where he had made so many mistakes that if he told the king the mistakes he had made He'd be screwed. He would be killed. So he was now on our side. He's probably going to get killed if the guy watches I I don't want to say I hope he gets killed. But Le Mans saint -Jules, that guy deserves it, bro. He's going to fuck up your entire operation. Anyways, so... For some booty. <laughs> I mean, he's not going to translate this anyway. Yeah. He's the only one who speaks English. <laughs> so, so, so I call my brother on WhatsApp. And I, I text him before I may said, make sure you film all this. This is the the Hamad. I call him a Hamad in Arabic. I knew exactly what it was. I go, make sure you film all donkey. Of this. This is the Hamad. It means donkey. It means an idiot. And he starts recording and I video. Because the king said one rule. He said, do not video call them. I video. That was the first time you video called me in a week. <laughs> the yeah. first time I video called them? You recorded it all? The whole time. From the actual screen recording or did you record just the? No, no. I recorded it. With a phone? phone? Always another phone. Always on a phone? Yeah. He records it all. Because screen recording doesn't pull up the audio on the call. guy, The guy the guy pulls up the oh, call. It, tells them? it was too big of a risk. No. I th oh, does it? On WhatsApp? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I feel Just not, anyways, not worth the risk. Yeah, not worth the risk. I not was worth holding the, risk. the camera underneath here. Like not this. worth the risk. The guy starts talking. I thought he was going to start negotiating. I thought he was going to start talking about the payment. Rapper. The guy starts the call with, yo, I got messaged by these guys on on uh, inst on my SoundCloud, or not SoundCloud, whatever page he uses. SoundCloud, he go SoundCloud. He goes, I got messaged by uh, Purple Arab, Purple, uh, Purpless Arabs. Purpless Arabs is what he said. Some some group chat messaging named Purpless Arabs said they're going to give him a record so deal confused. contract. I was so confused. In my head, I'm dying laughing that he's telling you this because mm -hmm. I know you have no idea what he's saying. No, but I know I'm going for his throat. He would time. come to us and talk to us about his rap career, but he wants to be a rapper. Purpless Arabs, I was wondering if you could uh, help me uh, speak to them and... and uh, so then you said... I tell him, I go... He's talking about his rap career. Uh, yeah, I tell That's him. That's what you told me. Yeah, he's That's talking about his rap you career. You like try to train And him. I also tell him, I also tell him, I said, I think you misunderstood. Arab is not one country. It's 50 countries that all speak the same language. He goes, oh... And then, go ahead. And then, I was like, oh, you care about your rap career. He's like, once my brother's out, I can hook you up. I can know a lot of people in the music industry. Like, I can get your tapes out there. So I'm like, I know, like, this is a leverage point for him. So I'm like, how can I show him that we are an opportunity for that leverage point? Right. And he goes, yeah, bro. He's like, listen, 
Boss Boss said 100, no less than 100. He's not going to go down. He's They're like, telling me, before this conversation, they told me, they go, tell your family 100,000, and we'll take 50. Okay, he said, we'll take 50. Tell them 100,000, pretend you're going to get hurt. I would pick up the phone, I'd call my parents. I'd go, they told me that they to do something that they were going to do. And they took 50,000. But they told رح اعمل حالي انا هلا زعلان. I'm gonna pretend yeah. I'm gonna pretend that I'm sad. They said they'll take 50k. These guys were letting me speak Arabic the entire time. I told them my well, dad only speaks Arabic. Well, dude, imagine from my standpoint, day three, this is flashback real quick. I was talking to him in English, but I was throwing in an Arabic sentence in the middle to make to disguise it so that he could answer me. And my question was, do they know who I am and if I have money? He so would, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, bro, I'd yeah. be like, yeah, I'd be like this. I'd be like, the problem is, man, like we can't actually get the cash. I've tried to figure out all the ways to do it. And then, after and, then, and then I'd be like, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be really hard to actually make that happen. And so because of that, I, I asked you multiple times and you finally said and no. I answered. I said, La. you said no. And I was like, once you said no, I was like, oh, thank God. Like, I'm so like, <laughs> I'm in such a better spot because I didn't know. Oh, yeah. I was yeah. like, how much do they know? Yeah. Like, it's easy to find it. You know what I mean? Right. So, so, so that call happens. So, so, so the end of this call, the, the, that call, I almost laughed before the call. I ended. know, but this is important. This is important. Oh, okay. This is where I went. We're still on the call. This the is where I went. Call. Yeah. This is where I went for their throat. Okay? okay. So, basically, what happened was we had that call and he goes, boss wants 100, no less. He's like, listen, bro, I know the boss. He's like really close with me. I know he'll take 70. And I'm like, oh, thanks, man. But honestly, like, I can't get to 70. Like, I sold everything. It's over. Like, I can't do anything else for you. It's a wrap. You know what I mean? Right. And because because in my head, I'm like, it's over. Like, as soon as he hung up, I called my parents. I was like, do not give a single dollar more than this number that I sent him already. I was like, it's over. Like, they will take this number and let us walk away. Guaranteed. Next 48 hours, he's out. That's when I was like, it's over. Like, do not give them another dollar. Took another five days. Push. Yeah, but... But the handoff didn't. The handoff. No, went, the handoff didn't happen. The handoff was. There was no, no other half. There was no other handoff. No, no, the first the handoff, handoff. Oh. bro. All this went down before the handoff. Oh, this is all before the handoff. Yeah, that's why I knew it was over. I'm like, I'm like, oh. they'll take it. They'll okay, take okay, the okay. 38. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm like, they'll take the 38. It's, I pass it off to dad that same moment right after that. I was like, dad, it's over. You don't have to give another dollar. They'll take the 38. Do not give another dollar. Make sure you have an exchange. We're out of here by Monday. Right. I was like, it's it's a wrap. Like we're home by Monday. Like. And I and I have a text. I was just looking at it. I already got the helicopter ready and everything. So I got a helicopter for you ready at 7 a.m. the next day. Right. I was like, it's definitely ha like it's a wrap. Like this is enough money for sure. Like I was that like, call that rap call. I was I almost started laughing in front of him. I looked at my brother because I was calling this guy an idiot so much in front of his face on that call. I looked at my brother and I and we both saw each other in the eyes. And I almost broke in front of him. Like I, I almost fully broke character. I was at the point. Oh, you're you're about to laugh. You smirked so hard. You saw, you saw. I I smirked so hard and I look away. And I like switch to sadness. And then, what happened next? The exchange so happened. The, the exchange next day? happened. The next day. The next no, yeah, exchange happens what on exchange Monday. Exchange happened one. This is the track day. Monday exchange happens. So we're going back and forth between two days, right? Monday exchange happens. Okay. They take the money, then they pretend. That they don't have the money. They pretended like they didn't take the money. There's no communication. Actually, fucking awful. This is why they need to use, like, a WhatsApp group. T, the well, negotiator. Well, one guy is like, we don't have the money. And the other guy is like, that wasn't enough money. So uh, like, okay. Okay, I'm like, okay. Let's not. And your dad is still, like, 50-50. He's like, I don't know if they have the money. I'm like, dad, the guy's already telling In us. In my that. head, we gave you one rule. Do not exchange me because bro, we these all guys are liars. We all had the same rule, bro. But T, drop T, the ball. T, the Haitian guy. T, dropped the ball on the rule. Exchange the money without seeing me, and he said, you gotta understand, this is how it happens in Haiti. And it is true, now we know in the future, we've, speaking, we've spoken to many people. Oh yeah, for next time. In Haiti, <laughs> in Haiti. Not. Next time I'm letting him die. In Haiti, you give the money first. Barbecue, Korean barbecue, it's I don't not care like what his movies. Is, bro. Cook him. It's not, <laughs> <laughs> it's not like movies. You give the money first and they bring you back. They kidnap so many people. It's a business like yeah, that. Yeah, you know what? The FBI told me while I was on the phone, listen, this is going to sound really, really rough to hear, but you're going to give them the money. And this is a business. It. They're going to take the money. They're going to count it. And sometimes hours or a day or two days, they're going to bring him back. Yeah. To that point. Yeah. That you so we didn't know that. We thought it was like a movie. So in my head, 
I'm pretty sure our negotiator just wants my dad to pay him and he wants to scam him. He just set up a fake There's definitely exchange. a point where we all thought this at some point. He just sure. uh, this is a random Lebanese guy we met. Yeah. And we have to trust him. And we have to trust him. So now we need to see the text between the 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 the, the kidnapper's negotiator and our negotiator. What happened between them? So I asked the kidnapper's negotiator Emerson, uh, the the Hamar. I said, "Hey, we would like to see your text to see where all this went wrong." He goes, why didn't you see my phone? I go, well, we just want to check your messages with his messages to see if there was actually money that was sent. He looks at me and he goes, are you saying I'm a liar, homie? And I go, no. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say? I go, it's a fucking kidnapper who kidnapped me because I'm white. No bro, shit. Bro, he keeps telling me to trust him. And I head, I'm like, what are you saying? I look bro? at him. I go, no. We need to prove that this other guy's a liar. That's why we need your text so we can prove that he's lying to all of us. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, okay, I'll send you the text. Screenshot his text. Dad takes them. Dad writes them. Dad writes them with a pen and paper. Every single text between T and the scammer writes every single text. And he calls me the next day and he goes, I did the math. My dad's really good at math. I did the math. I investigated all of it. They took the money. Your guys took the money. They're lying. It's like, okay, well, fuck. Now they have no reason to keep us alive. So now Sean and I are thinking of survival. Sean has come up with an escape plan. <laughs> the, 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 the prison we're in, okay, is barbed wired. The, the shack in the back of the toilet, we have all the alcohol boxes. We can break... The metal shack top. This is your plan to escape. This is our plan to escape. These guys worship the devil, and they do voodoo. When it rains, they're afraid, and now it's tropical storm season. When it rains, they all run inside like ants. They're afraid of the rain touching them. They run inside, and they hide until the rain's no done. No way. I swear to God. They run inside, and they hide until the rain's done. Sean tells me all this. He goes, bro, he turned into James Bond. He tells me, he goes, when it thunders, when it rains, when there's an actual hurricane... We're going to break the metal shack at the top. There's a generator. There was a generator right but between our building and the fence because we were right on the fence. He goes, we're going to hop on that generator. We're going to pour alcohol on us. It's like pure rubbing alcohol. He said, we're going to pour rubbing alcohol on us for the dogs so that they can't smell us. We're going to hop on the generator. We're going to grab the cushion from the couches that we're sleeping on, and we're going to use it to cover the barbed wire, and we're going to run the opposite way, the way we came from. We're going to run straight backwards. And we're gonna st we're gonna take all the bread we have, keep the meat, stop eating the chicken that they gave us, keep it in case we need to feed the dogs. Dog, Sean turned into James Bond. Every <laughs> 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 everything, to feed the dogs. Is everything next he was level. <laughs> and he looks at me and he looks at me and he goes, "You don't know me. You don't know me. I I know what to do in these situations. I've been trained." So he gives me a complete. Like, foolproof plan, yeah, yeah, except yeah. for the fact that we're going to have to run for days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's the only non-foolproof thing. <laughs> it's a big and farm, we have no idea what's behind us. We have no idea what's on that side. We haven't seen that one yeah, side yeah, yeah. of the... of the. This blew my mind because Sean the entire time was scared shitless to pull out the GoPro that they left us. They didn't s scout his carry-on bag. He was so afraid to pull out the GoPro, I had to, like, bitch at him. I'm like, listen, buddy, I'm going to have to pay a ransom. Yeah. I need to make my money back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to steal as much footage as I can in here. Yeah, for sure. Okay? I need this GoPro every 48 hours to give an update. I only filmed day one, day three, and day five on the GoPro. Because at that point, Sean was having a heart attack. Every time I want to pull it out, he'd find like a hole in the roof that could only let in sun. And he'd go. <laughs> in, my, in my head, I'm like. They cannot watch us from there. Nobody can see anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, but I, but I he know. was, yeah, yeah. he was, he goes, the curtains, they can see us through the curtains. They can't see us through the curtains. Yeah, yeah. There's no way they can see <laughs> us. So, so you'll see the day five footage that we snuck, I'm not even speaking. I had to like tell him, like, I will film. I will not say a word. I'll voice it over after, but just let me film. I had to show everything that was inside, the food they gave us because I wanted to. Oh, you know? really? That's sick. Yeah, yeah. I filmed everything. GoPro best scenario. Yeah, right GoPro. Like, I still so haven't gotten the footage from him, but I need to get it from him. But From Sean? Yeah, but I'm like, this guy turned from being afraid to pull out a camera for one minute a day 
where we could even to James scout Bond. to James Bond, bro. He created like the greatest escape plan, the only one possible. So, so that had happened at that uh, point. We never even thought there was a chance that you were trying to escape. No, they, we thought of everything. Yeah. Our most, our closest thing was about to like, we were like hours away from like having someone fly in and shoot the place up. Like it was kind of it was straight up. Oh, like, Friday night. Shit was about to go yeah, down. Friday night. Oh yeah. If, if, if Friday night. What, the Friday after we got released? The Friday you actually, so, so Monday money went down. Monday money went down. Fr Thursday they were like, we're. Thursday, they decided they were going to release. Okay, it. before they decide that, yeah. after the botched exchange, T, the negotiator, decides to send it to a journalist, a local Haitian journalist. The next day, M. Emerson, the, uh, the, the scammer translator, comes at 8 a.m., pulls up a TikTok with 328 likes. Look at, look at the day that you guys tweeted. Was it Thursday or Wednesday? The crazy day. Oh, it was Thursday. Okay, Thursday. then then Wednesday, he comes. He comes. Wait, Thursday? Then it's Thursday that it all happened. No, no, Thursday went crazy. No, 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 no. The so day that I texted him to post, it already Thursday come out on the news. Okay, okay. So Thursday morning, they 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 come up to us. Yeah, that's what it was. Thursday morning because this I is fourteen Saturday. days in for context. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, fifteen days in on our side. Sure, fourteen for you. Yeah, full days. Fifteenth day for us. Emerson comes up and he goes. It's on the Rezil. I don't know what the fuck a Rezil is. So I asked Sean, like, what's a Rezil? He goes, social media. Well, he goes, he looks at, he looks at Emerson, he goes, what's on the Rezil? He goes, it's the exact story. Some local journalist is saying the exact thing that happened to us. We got set up by police officers on Monday. We're like, how do they know the money? The 40,000, whatever, blah, blah. The 40 blah. was crazy. We're like, who leaked that? Yeah. Like, we're like, there's yeah. only one guy who could have leaked Yeah, that. there's one guy that, so, so he says that at 8 a.m. And he goes, the king's not happy. First of all, he's got someone sending him these articles for sure. Because the fact that he saw it with that little views, yeah. someone's always searching his name, double checking. I had also warned them on day one. Hey, we are famous and people know we're here. Word will get out. Whether it's three days, whether it's 10, whether it's two weeks, I set that up. So word starts breaking out. Then 3 p.m., seven hours later, the second chief, Tilapli, who's also a famous name in Haiti. He's known by the intelligence he pulls up on a bike pulls out another video he goes this this is uh this is starting to go big in haiti the king is not going to be happy we don't want this to happen sean is an expert in these gang guys after they leave he looks at me he goes they're nervous it's time to send it international now we have an excuse to send it international we're not the ones that broke the news yeah yeah Sneeko has already known. So we get our phones about 7, 8 p.m. Or whenever, about an hour and a half before. Uh, when probably you 6 p.m. or so. When you tweeted. Whatever the time you tweeted. 7 p.m. we get our phones. Sean and I are already in, in you know, a coalition. He's going to send it to all the journalists because they're already messaging him. They have all the news in the back. They don't message direct. They go, hey, how are you? They don't go, are you kidnapped? Yeah. Hey, how are you? Yeah. He sends it to everyone, CNN, BBC, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Oh, bro, trust me. New York Times, Forbes, it 10, CNN. It 10 PM. I text, everyone banging Yeah, it on took 10 p.m. for them to post. Huh? 10 p.m. for them to post? No, no, I'm saying my post was at 10 p.m. Okay, then that's when it was. 9.30 p.m., we get our phones. From I text four people. I text Sneeko. I said, hey, I noticed you're live. You can finally speak about it. Pretend it's not from me. Sneeko said he read it on an article. I said, Sneeko, pretend it's not from me. I text Lalo, I said, you can post it now. I text Yasin and Mikey in our boys group chat. I got a boys group chat, Yasin, Mikey, and, and they have they both have news pages. I go, you guys can post it, pretend it's not from me. I delete all those messages. I'm looking at Twitter still, because we got our phone, the dude's texting his girl. Bro, within five minutes, it blows up. Scuba Ryan, all these, all these- Puberty, like, wealth, YouTuber, every, every, all these, every Before Reddit those page. pages pick it up, all the YouTuber news pages on Twitter pick it up. Scuba Ryan, Mill, Flourish Mill, whatever his name is. All those guys pick it up. Lalu posts it. The entire Fortnite community, every pro starts responding. Okay. Before I got my phone taken away from me, at least 10 million people had seen it within yeah, that hour. For sure, for sure. And from our standpoint, same as like when, when, when you told Sneeko to leak it, 
Sammy was like, what do we do? And I was like, we can't. Because I didn't message in the boys' group chat. Because yeah. the boys' group chat had my other number in it. Yeah. And they had that phone. Oh, uh, they had that phone the whole time. They had that phone. We had made a new chat, but I still didn't message in the boys' group chat just in case. Because that's three people that might respond. Yeah, yeah. Whereas I just texted no, it to sense. Yassine. Yeah, so, Yassine. So just from our context, we're like, do we stop? Like, do we try to stop this? I was like, Sammy, it's impossible. We have to push it. Yeah. Like, no, no, the no. only way is up. Like, there's no, there was no way we we're going to try to fight this right now it's it would only like suppress the only like that shot the shot's being taken right now of course so we have to shoot it my my first message to him when i started seeing all the leaks was i was like you want me to get them all taken down or make it public that's what my text was on discord right yeah and you were like they were messaging me on discord the whole time because yeah. i had notifications muted and the kidnappers had no idea how to get to discord yeah, no, and you no were no like chance. make it public and i saw that text like five minutes after sneeko said it on stream so I saw that text as I get 20 texts, like, yo, is it real? And I was like, oh, shit, now I have to. We have to let it go. So yeah. we let it rip. So then, this is Thursday, right? Yeah, in your head, you're like, we got it. That same, that same. What's going through your head right now? What's going through your head? Like, I'm like, okay, it's going viral, whatever. Th listen, that Do same. Do you think there's a chance it goes sideways because it went viral? Like, you have to think, like, this could go wrong. Yeah, yeah. I told, I told Sean, I said, this is either going to go really well or the complete opposite. We're going to get moved to a different shack. That's exactly and what I told fucked. her. I was like, this goes two ways. They're out or they want way more money and they moved them to a different exactly. place because there's a lot of pressure. Exactly. Yeah. So so that same instance of us having our phones after about an hour and a half to two hours, I've already seen it going viral. My phone's blowing up too. My message notifications are off. I made sure to turn everything off except for WhatsApp. I have at least 300 texts, different YouTubers, different whatever. Everyone's already seen it. People are messaging on WhatsApp that I haven't spoken to from middle school. That same instance, he goes to take our phones, the translator M, and he goes, okay, now you gotta unlock your phones. I go, what do you mean? He goes, well, the king said you need to unlock your phones. You need to remove your password. Uh, we're not gonna touch your phones. We're just gonna put them in a closet. We're not gonna touch them. I go, oh, well then you don't really need the password. That makes sense. We'll give you our phones. We're not going to unlock them. He goes, I don't think you understood. When the king says something, you do it. I go, hey, listen, man. I have a lot of photos and videos of me naked that nobody should be seeing. Stop it. No, you didn't. I swear to God. I said, I got a lot of photos and videos of me naked that nobody should be seeing. I don't want to open my phone. He goes, okay. Goes less than 60 seconds. La Monsanjou comes back. Cocks an assault rifle in Stop front of us. It. Stop it. He didn't point it at us. He cocked it and he wouldn't look at me in the eyes. I'm telling you, this guy didn't want to hurt me. This guy felt so bad because I treated him so well. Didn't want to hurt me. Cocks it and puts it on the ground right in front of us. And this is the first time I felt fear. This is the first time my heart instantly, adrenaline started. In, in the 16 days, it's the first time, 15 days, it's the first time I felt fear. And he gives us our phones and we knew we didn't, we didn't have to speak to us. I opened my photos app within eight seconds. I still had 29 images. There was one image I had of this corrupt police officer that was their connect to all the police officers that I had. 6X zoomed one time when I had the phone. 6X, bro, the maximum zoom. And I screenshotted him from across the compound. I forgot to send it to any of you guys. I had an image of his face. Like the corrupt police. Yeah, yeah. an image of his face. Because when we were in there the whole time, there was corrupt police officers walking between yeah, yeah. us. 6X zoomed. I told dad one time we were on the call. I said, dad, just keep speaking. I'm doing something important in Arabic. And dad just kept speaking. And I 6X zoomed. I took seven photos, his face of every angle, okay? So, so I had them. I was storing everything in the trash, so I didn't have to delete it twice. When they gave us our phones back, I popped open face ID, open photos, hit delete all. Within eight seconds, okay? While I was doing that, the king yelled at the translator guy. He said, are you fucking stupid? Check their phones while they're doing stuff. I had hit delete all and I was on settings. By the time he looked at my phone, I had just opened settings. It was like a movie. Okay, then I went to passcode, tried to remove it. It wouldn't remove, the iPhone was bugging. They said, change it to zero, 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 zero. Give it zero, 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 give him the phone. Adrenaline, adrenaline rush the rest of the night, okay? That night, I slept with my wallet in my pocket. They hadn't taken my credit cards. They don't know how to use credit cards. I slept with my wallet in my pocket. What about your passport? I've been thinking about that. They had my passport the whole time. Okay. Um, Luckily, I had photos of your passport. Yeah. Which I knew. 
Yeah. The whole world does now, <laughs> sadly. Yeah. Old passport. You need a new one. It's my old passport. Fair, fair. Yeah, but yeah. like, that's all we had. Yeah, yeah. You got a new passport literally like the week you yeah, flew yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. Literally the week. The worst before. case scenario. I'm yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, fuck <laughs> me, man. He doesn't even have, like, no one has a photo of that passport. Sammy might have. Sammy usually has everything you need. He didn't. He didn't. Um, so, so that night I slept with like double layers. I slept with an extra shirt. I made sure I had everything in my pockets just in case in the middle of the night they came and they took us to a different shack. I wanted to make sure if I was locked in like a black shack, I had as much, you know, resources as possible. Okay. What you didn't know was like in the next 24 hours, someone was coming up and shooting the place and trying to get you out. No, I'm serious. I know. I believe it. I, I, know, no, I believe I, it. Like I, in less than 24 hours. I'm, I'm talking to Eddie and Dad on the phone, the drum speaker, and Eddie says it. Like we say the game plan, and Eddie's like, "All right." And by this time, he's like, "He's I like, like if, if there's no conclusion." Yeah, he's like, "If there's no conclusion on Friday, um, he, I'm taking him out myself. Or like I'm getting a team where they're taking him out." And, and I, I wish you had messaged me for info because I could have snuck info. Like, hey, what does the place around you look like? I could have told you the king comes every two days. If it's rain, they're weak. Bro, it's hard. We're on a voice call. Discord. Huh? Bro. Discord. Well, okay. Bilatabi. Discord. Here's, Bilatabi. Here's the thing. I get it, bro, but you have to understand Of our, course. Our our everyone perspective. First time being kidnapped. Everyone was well, doing no, Not even first, first time. time. You're messaging me on Discord. Last time. And you're messaging me on Discord and you're telling me shit, but at the same time, you're typing like they're watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, exactly. you're typing to me, by the way, I'm not kidnapped. They're treating me great. On Discord. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, I was exactly. just being real. No, no, I know. But yeah, uh, yeah, but you thought they were watching. Well, we, no, bro, so we like, have no yeah, visibility. Yeah, they weren't hurting us. We, I know, sure. but we have no visibility. Of course, we of have course. to be like, we have course. to be careful with what we ask you. Yeah, like, of oh. course, of course, of course. You know what I mean? Because we don't, we don't know. Like, we're also trying to play the game. You right. Know what I mean? So, so point is, it went viral, went crazy. The whole world. So viral. You know what's crazy is it went viral, and within an hour, AR loyals have your exact location. Stop. AR loyals are posting a picture of the building. Stop. I'm not trolling. Like, Aiden Ross it, loyals yeah, have my yeah. exact location. They were like, they were like, this is where he I would gotta be. see that, bro. bro. I was, I was just laughing. They were like, this is where all, he's done all his previous kidnappings. Um, he should be in this building right here, and they're like, and it was actually the exact location. Bro, they, there was like a bunch of them, bro. But they were, they were going fucking crazy, bro. They were just like, stop. I was just like, I was I just like anything. laughing. I don't know anything. Like, Aiden, about you want to speak? Shout out to AR loyals, yo, AR loyals. Thank you. I'll. I'll tell trying you then. To save me. Then so then Zoe calls me. Zoe Dollars. Yeah, and he's like, "Hey, bro, your bro's everywhere." I'm like, "I know." He's like, "Bro," he's like, "I just got off a call with my guy who's in the gang, like who's inside." He goes, "They're meeting, discussing if they want more money now because he's too." They realize how famous he is. Yeah. I'm like, "Fuck." He's like, "But I got good news." He's like, "Because these articles." They were writing fake news about barbecue. Exactly. They were saying barbecue kidnapping. They're saying barbecue kidnapped barbecue, even though they have a truce. He said he's not letting his name be on kidnappings like this because he doesn't kidnap people. He's he's there to stop the corruption of politics. Of course. That's so, why I went to interview barbecue. So he, he seems like a pretty sane guy. Called, All the interviews, yeah. he seems like a normal no, he's guy. Seen, he's, seen, he's definitely the most logical. Like so, calls your boy. 5'10", 150 pounds. You know what I mean? You got kidnapped by him. <laughs> he calls him and he says, okay, now my name's on it. I'm, I'll go to war with your gang if we don't let him go. Like, you got money. It's in the news. Yeah. Like, it's in the news you have this much money. That's a lot of money, bro. You got 40 bands. Now my name's on it. I can't have that. I will go to war over this now. Yeah. Let him go. Yeah. And so I got that news from Zoe. He's like, this is what's happening on the inside. Shout out to Zoe. Zoe... Zoe helped tremendously, and and he's not like all these other famous people who are purely clout based. This man is a man who helped us without asking for anything. In all return. through Eric, just for context. Yeah, shout out to Eric. Eric as well. checked in on you like more than your mom. Thank you for that, Eric. I would you, love you, to come back to a dinner at your house. Your house is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you owe him a little bit. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> So <laughs> you, owe, you owe him more than a dinner. <laughs> so so that's the news that we get. So right. I call them like, hey, listen, I think it's working. Like this could have blown up in our face. We don't have our phone for forty eight hours. Yeah. After he took our phone. Oh yeah. With the you were the most famous person in the world for those twenty four hours. So 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 in our head. By the way, fifteen people message me. I'll front the cash right now. Like yeah. the six hundred. Really. Like. Shout out to. I'll tell you who they are after. I know one name. That told me already. I told him the one that he would care. I don't know which one. You don't need to say it. Starts it. with an L. 
that they, there's like four that start with an L. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that's like there's, I'm telling uh, you, has a big page. All of them are the same. Oh, really? They're, they're, stop, stop, stop. I'm telling you. Shout out, easy. shout out, shout out to everybody. I want to say thank you because uh, I, I posted a message after I came out that many people reached out and said they would pay the entire ransom without asking for anything in return. So I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for those names. I'll, when I meet them in person, I'll thank them personally and I'll thank them publicly, but I don't want to leak their names. Um, maybe they don't want them leaked, but uh, I genuinely want to say all the love that came out of that. Uh, quite overwhelming. I only know about one person. I didn't know about all the other 15. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, but thank you. Seriously, it, it means a lot that you appreciate my content so much or, or, or me as a person, whatever it is, that you would be willing to do that. And I know there's comments out there that will say, oh, yeah, they would just do it for PR. These people would do it without PR. And whether they do it for PR or whatever, either way, the outcome is that they would have still done it. Okay, and that means a lot. That means that means more than you can imagine. That that people were willing to step in like that and assist in a situation. So without asking for anything in return. So thank you. So what happens then? So then, the news goes crazy. You have no context. We of still how have crazy. all of our phones. We're told we're being let out again. This is like five days after we were told we're being let out the first time. We're told we're being let out again. Maybe they're trying to pull something again, okay? Maybe maybe they're trying to pull something again. So we're locked in our cage being told we're going to be let out. The entire day goes by. We don't speak to anyone. The entire day. We're not given our phone once. They won't even bring our phones. But M, the guy who we had uh, seduced, let me tell you how we seduced him too. He wanted my jacket. I have a Calvin Klein jacket that I wear. It's in a lot of my Instagram posts. He wanted my jacket. I was using that jacket as a pillow cover for the pillows because the pillows had bed bugs and it was the only thing thick enough. I said, when I get out, I'm gonna give you my jacket. He came two days later and he goes, give me your jacket. I go, I said, when I get out, I'll give you my jacket. You said you would give it to me in two days. I said, ah, uh, you have a date, don't you? He goes, yeah, I have a date. I go, okay, I'll give you my jacket. Just promise me you're gonna bring it back. Shake my hand. He goes, I promised you I'll bring it back. I have like a Listerine, one of those like, you know, paper ones that you put on your mouth. I go, you know what this is? He goes, no, I go, try that. It's a mint, it makes you taste good when you kiss the girl. He like, uh, he goes, okay, I go, no, no, try it. Make sure you know how to use it. He like grabs one and he like puts it back in to save it. Cause he knows he's never gonna have this again. He's yeah. Puts it back in. I'm like, you sure you know how to use it? He goes, yeah. And I give him the jacket. I go, make sure you come back and show us your outfit before you go. He goes, he comes back. You know, wearing a new outfit. First time we've seen him in a new outfit. You know, giving us like a like a turnaround 360. Like with your jacket. Yeah, oh with my, my jacket. Damn, bro, you're so swagged out. Like whatever. And then he leaves and Sean and I are just laughing how we're playing this guy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> also, this guy... The first time they give the 40K, our negotiator had bought him a phone. He sent him cash on one of those, like, you know, internal country transfer apps. Yeah. And he had deleted those messages to not show the king that he had gotten that cash. So we knew this guy now is on our side. Yeah, he slipped up too much. That he slipped he, like, up too much. He could get killed for it. King would shoot. The king shot two people in the foot in front of us for stealing. No way. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's a big detail, bro. So, so... We, not in front of us in the eyes, but we heard the gunshots right outside the prison gate. Ta -ta. Yeah. Yeah. So he shot them for stealing from him. Um, and all the gang guys came and told us. But by this point, they tell us we're getting out. We're standing at our gate, day 16. We don't hear any news. So we're begging. We're always calling his name, Pop Shove, Pop Shove. That's the guy's name. That's his rap name, Pop Shove. We would call his name. Anytime someone would come by us to like turn on the generator, we'd ask him to ask for Pop Shove. Eventually, we'd get him after like four hours of asking for him. We had him call the the negotiator, T. As soon as he called the negotiator, T, I told him, I said, get my dad on the line. He calls dad from his other phone, puts them next to each other. And I go, dad, we don't have our phones. They're unlocked. Any message you get, this is all in Arabic. Baba ma'ana telefonet. They're unlocked. I'll the passwords. Hayala message bisallak. If you get any messages from us, they're not us. Okay? They are not us. They are somebody else 
trying to do something. Right now, they're trying to kidnap Sean's daughter. Because in that morning, one of the gangsters came and started asking about Sean's daughter and wife. And he said, you know, the king can send them money. Where are they? You know, the king can send them money um, and, and bring them here and take care of them. And Sean was about to flip. And then he said, there's only one king. Christ is king. Glory be to God. And he stopped himself. You know, but I, I got that message across. I said, make sure you know if you don't get a message from me in Arabic, not even Arabic writing, Arabic English writing, which I know 100% these guys don't know how to write. Yeah, yeah. If you don't get a message from me in Arabic English writing or hear my voice in Arabic, you do not do anything with these guys. We thought this entire time they're about to play the negotiator again. We thought they had already done something. When we called them by nighttime, he said, no, we haven't done anything. We're still talking. I was like, okay, we're relaxed. So I got that message across. I had dad message you to message his girl to message his daughter. That was just too long. Don't right? respond. No, no. I no, he did it. Yeah, no, I they'll understand. It. Yeah. You did it, right? He did it. Oh, okay. You did it? Yeah. yeah. To message his girl, do not do anything. Do not, if I get, ask you for your location, do not give it. And then the next day, oh, also T, the negotiator, when the news came out, he goes, what is this? Uh, the, like the, the Emerson. So let's, here, before I start this conversation, M. Is the kidnapper translator T is our negotiator? M calls T when the news comes out. He goes, "What is this?" He goes, "What do you mean?" He goes, "It's all over the news." He goes, "No way." He goes, "How did it get there if you didn't do it?" He goes, "Are you not aware?" It's probably the U.S. embassy. Are you not aware that La Monsanjou has a million dollar hit on his head by the FBI? You've kidnapped an American. And he goes, "Really?" He goes, "Listen, buddy." I'm a Haitian, just like you. Once they give you the money, I'm trying to scam them too. But here's what you need to do. This is a famous YouTuber. What you need to do now is make a video with him. Say that you didn't kidnap him. Say that he's a guest in your house and that you didn't take any money. And post it. You need to make the king look good. And he goes, you know what? That's a genius idea. And so that last day, that Put last day. Put your fake Fendi shirt on and shit was dying. That last Saturday. Okay. Girl, you were a puppet that day. That last Saturday. <laughs> I got text. What is your brother wearing in the video? Who dressed him? <laughs> he looked That's just like Eric dressed So many messages. It made, it made right. so much sense. The last, the last Saturday, they go, you're getting out. Get ready. Okay, we get ready. I wear all my clothes. I'm standing at the gate. They get, get ready quick. The king comes. What the hell are you guys wearing? All those guys. Brings clothes, fresh. I'm new, surprised they had clothes that fit you. New bro. shoes, new. Honestly, so tight, I'm like, these, these guys new, are famished. How are new? Who has clothes <laughs> this guy's size? <laughs> new shoes, new, new, new uh, Fendi shirt, whatever. Okay, they dress me in those jeans and they sit us on the couch and they make a video. We didn't kidnap him. He's been a guest in our house. Look, he's got AC. Look at him, and obviously I'm playing the part. Yeah, you have to. La mon sang joue, pas grand joue, pas you play, braquillé, papé, frappé. You know, and they're all laughing. Behind that camera is 10 guys with guns. No way. 10 no, guys with guns, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Not that they forced us to say it. Yeah, I knew yeah. what to say already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... You know, then they take that video. That video I, goes I viral. Not, I did not think there was 10 guys. A bunch of Haitians are saying, oh, this guy faked it. This YouTuber faked bro, it. people are idiots. I'm like, bro, you guys, what are you saying? You're I'm telling you, people are idiots because they hate the word YouTuber so much. They hate the word YouTuber so much that they're willing to trust one of the world's most dangerous kidnappers over a YouTuber because exactly. they let their hate blind them. That's why I don't read hate comments. That's yeah. why, first of all, if you're a supporter of my channel... I know I don't address it enough because I make travel vlogs and I, you know, I don't speak to you guys directly, but thank you. Thank you if you are a supporter of the channel, whether you comment positively, whether you like. Something people don't understand is that for every thousand hate comments, there's 500,000 likes of people that aren't speaking because people who do useful things with their lives don't sit there and comment hate on, on, on. Yeah, it's like why people leave bad reviews more than good reviews. Like do you ever leave a hate comment? Never. You have other shit to do with your life. Yeah. You know, people who leave, leave hate comments are addicted to social media. They're robots and they don't do anything with their lives. So he films that video. Then we hop in the cars. We say bye to the gangsters that, you know, we had shown a friendly good time to. Some of them take pictures with us. I get in my car. I was told the whole time I'd get my laptop back. 
Where's my laptop? They said the whole time it was in the king's room. Where's my laptop? My laptop has crypto on it. Where's my laptop? Oh, we don't know where the laptop is. Okay, whatever. I have my phone. Where's my blah, blah? Oh, we don't know where that is either. They were lying the whole time. Yeah, of course, yeah. So we get thrown back in our car. Our car rental this is important. By the way, everyone needs to know no more money given here. Like No more money. They didn't take the money after they this. They didn't take any more money. It after was just this. that initial payment because Barbecue had called and said, get them the fuck out. Like, you're, you're ruining my name. So they had re- decided to release us. They went with that PR move. And uh, Hilarious, by the way. And they, they all hop in. All the gangsters hop in a truck. We get escorted by four cars. They give us our car back. This is how bad the car was that we got rented by the car rental guy. Okay, this is important for the story, so keep in mind. La Monsanju stole my laptop. La Monsanju stole my headphones, my speakers, all my cash, all my camera gear. Okay. He stole my sunglasses that were prescription that they can't even use. They're probably they're probably using them right now and wondering why they don't work. <laughs> he stole my blue sunglasses that you guys see me. I promise you they're putting them on because they look nice. They're going, shit, this makes us blind. And they have no idea because these guys are retards. Okay? He stole all that. When we asked him if he's going to give us the car back, he said, I have 50 cars that work. Why would I steal this piece of shit machine? (laughs) That's how bad the car was, broken. No speedometer, pieces falling apart. That you rented in the That the car rental rented us. As we're getting escorted out... Another dude sitting behind us making sure we don't film. We end up dropping him off at where he needs to go. I want to film the gang in front of us that's taking us fucking 20 guys in a car with guns, okay, and masks, so I can get it for the video. Sean is freaking out. He goes, we're finally out, and you're about to ruin it, so I'm not filming anything. Fair point. I get it. Fair point. I get it. I agree. I agree. Thank God Sean was there. (laughs) Look, I I, I get what you're saying. Idiot would have posted it on Twitter. I get Hey. In the back of the car, April Fools. (laughs) I get what you're saying, but they were so far ahead of us and there was dust, they would not have seen me filming. I'm going to tell you in this, and I'm going to tell you in this last part here, after you escape, when all the next level shit went down, how much you hurt us by filming shit. Okay. You have no idea. I understand, but you also don't know my perspective. I know. I get your perspective. No, you don't. Your you don't until you hear from me. No, no. Okay, okay. Shh. Until well, you hear from me, you don't know my right, perspective. Don't hush me, bro. Like, you oh, can by tell the way, something. for chat to know why you're saying that, you guys haven't talked at all about this yet. This we haven't your, spoken this yet. This is their first time meeting since yeah, yeah. you got back. They know, they know. We told them at the beginning. I, oh, I, I guess made sure. Here, yeah. I made sure, even while the guy's in the back of the car, I'm messaging. I'm telling Sean shit. This guy doesn't speak English. I'm telling Sean shit. Turn your fucking hotspot on. I know, sir. Turn your hospital on. Let me send your girl your lo- our location. Maybe they're moving us to another room. Maybe yeah, they're not yeah. letting us yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, you don't know anything. Else. I have zero service in Haiti. So Sean's yelling at me. Turn your fuck. Th- give me it. Just turn. Don't turn your hotspot on as Sean Sacras. Change your name first. You need to change it to iPhone one. Turn your hotspot on. Let me send a location. Eventually, you agree. I'm just gonna send his girl the location. She'll send it to you. Yeah. So we share our WhatsApp location for eight hours. We're driving. We get let out at the end. Um, and you know, the King gives me the phone back, the iPhone 15 to reset it for him. I try to reset it. It won't reset. He goes, fuck it. Just go, man. He salutes us. We were definitely his favorite prisoners ever. And he lets us go. And like the last 20 minutes, I just pull the chair back, sit back, trying not to show the blonde. Cause everyone knows me as the blonde who's kidnapped yeah, in the yeah, country. Yeah, yeah. And Sean drives to a safe area. And we meet up with our negotiator. And then, you know, that, that rest is history. We evacuate on an embassy flight. Well, I go and I see the nice right. parts. Your my brother, negotiator takes your us. My brother books you an embassy flight. My brother books me an embassy okay, flight. Okay. Evacuate sure. on a helicopter Do to you the know, north. Here's what people don't realize. One of the hardest parts of this, from my perspective, was always having planes ready and then having them be canceled because we thought something was going to go down that didn't. Right. Like, I canceled at least seven embassy helicopter rides and planes to America. I had to cancel um, multiple military units getting into the country when we thought we were pulling the trigger because right. something, you know what I mean? So like, it's like you work so hard to get this plan and you're like, this is the plan. And then something happens, you're like, cancel the plan, but like, just put it on pause. And they're like, these guys got shit to do. They're not just gonna pause and wait around for you. So it was like, so okay. hard canceling and doing, and canceling and doing, canceling and doing. So so my negotiator takes me to the safe sides of Haiti, shows me the nice parts. He says, you know, it's it's not good that you've only seen the bad side. I want and this is a weekend, good. so, like, we can't get you out on a flight. Right. First flights are on Monday. Right. 
So he shows me all the nice parts. We filmed that too. You know, we sh we showed that the people of Haiti are good. It's not just the people that kidnap me. He tells me, he takes me through, shows me a bunch of the roadblocks, how the locals are killing all the gang members that are trying to terrorize. I evacuate on an embassy helicopter. I thought it was over. I thought I'm safe now. Now we're back at the airport in the north. Mind you, when we got out, we called the car rental guy. Hey, we've been kidnapped for 17 days. We agree on an exchange, okay? A certain amount of money, okay? And that my friend is going to deliver him the car soon, okay? He's gonna deliver him the car soon. That's agreed upon. I'm like, okay, I'm good to go. I get to this airport. We land in the helicopter. We're waiting to board the flight. It's a small, tiny airport. One guy comes up to me in Creole and goes, machine la, which means car. I'm like, oh, okay, this is the car guy. Let me make sure he's good. Okay. So I'm speaking to him. I grab one of the translators, one of the people who's also evacuating. I grab him. I go, can you tell him? They already agreed on a price and we should be good. I'm trying to make sure he's good, bro. My father taught me not to steal. So, so I'm trying to make sure he's good. He's not even responding. This guy's just yelling. Okay. Then it becomes five guys yelling. Then it becomes 10, then it becomes 15, then it becomes 20. I'm pinned in a corner by 20 dudes. In the airport? In the airport, in a corner. Everyone's watching and they're just yelling. They're not speaking to my translator, they're just yelling. And by the way, this is like, you already flew on a helicopter. And my flight's in 30 minutes. To leave to America. In about 45 minutes to leave to America. And you're like, you texted us like, I'm boarding. I like, thought I was out. I thought I was completely out, okay? Police officer near the airport comes by, says, follow us. Takes us to this little jail next to the airport. It's not a jail cell, but it's a jail room. And he keeps all the guys outside. And then there's this mother, shout out to V. I don't want to say your name, but shout out to V. Her son was a fan. When I got, we boarded the embassy helicopter together. We boarded throughout the whole journey. They were with us and, and she was helping. She was willing to miss her flight for me. She was translating to the guy and eventually she goes, Okay, the only way you're getting out of here is if you pay what they want. The car rental guys were trying to extort me. I'm public enemy number one. I'm the most famous man in the country right now. They're trying to extort me for an amount of money, even though they had already agreed. You have to pay what they want if you want to make this flight. I said, how much do they want? Name a price. The guy said $2,000. I said, I'll send him $2,000 right now. I said, I'm in 100%. I'll send $2,000 right now, this moment. Shit, that was too easy. 4,500. I go, I will send $4,500 right now. The police officer's seen this all. I'll send $4,500 right now. Oh, shit, that was too easy. 6,000, 10,000. I'm being fucking kidnapped again. Okay? I've got the US Army guy giving me personal hotspot. Okay? He's about to leave. He has to leave to his flight. V is about to miss her flight for me. I said, please go with your children. I'll be able to handle this. She goes, she goes, are you sure? I go, I promise you, you need to go home with your children to safety. The hotspot guy's about to leave me. Fuck. I originally got kidnapped by police officers. Now I'm in the hands of police officers again. There's seven SWAT dudes walking up to me. I've got footage of all this. This will be in the videos. Seven SWAT dudes. You want me to share the photo? Yeah, the you can share the photo of the SWAT guys. These are the guys that took me to custody. Does it show up on your screen? Yeah, you see it? These are the guys that came and grabbed me from that jail cell. This is the last moment I'm going to have internet. I'm posting the most viral video I can. I called the country a shithole. Okay? I said these guys are trying to extort me. Okay? And I called the country a shithole. And that video went nuclear. And I got taken to jail. Zero. Zero service for eight hours okay zero service i get taken to this jail in my head i'm about to fucking die i got originally set up by corrupt police officers i'm now the most famous man in the country these car guys are all trying to extort me it's clear because i offered to pay them every amount they said and they said no they just kept and the worst higher. part of this is like you were there like you're about to leave there. i was about to leave i Mission broke down over. i actually teared the first time i didn't tear once when i was kidnapped i teared right there okay I get in this car with them, I get taken, I'm like, you know what, why am I sad? I'm gonna make another video. And I start filming everything. These B -sa these these police officers, SDPG is what they're called. They're the best branch in Haiti, apparently the least corrupt. 
They start Snapchatting me. Blanc kidnappé. Blanc kidnappé. Ah. You know, they're taking videos. <laughs> <laughs> I got this on video, bro. I got the guy literally pulling Snapchat, hitting yeah. a zoom on my face. <laughs> so I'm making videos with them. They're letting me film. They're chill, whatever. You know, I get thrown into this police office. And, and, I'm and here's my side. Because it's important. You tell me, delete your video. Yep, 100%. On my end, I tell him, as soon as he says delete the video, the message goes through, and I respond. I go, I'm not deleting it. And then I thought for 10 seconds, and I go, you know what? You're right. I'm deleting it. I just I have wish the image. thought for 10 seconds comes before sometimes. I have an image. <laughs> I have an image in my head, a, a screenshot. 4.16 p.m. and 4.16 p.m. I said, I'm deleting it, or I'm not deleting it. I'm deleting it. Same minute. It the time it, the time on the screenshots 4:22 p.m. The first message sent of I'm not deleting it and the second message of I'm deleting it didn't send. I knew my family was going into chaos. So I pulled out my other phone which had a bit of 3G and I texted it hoping it will go through. Cuz the internet at the at the police station is very shit. And I message I go, "We hey, didn't guys, even care. You didn't care about that message. We didn't. We were already in action before. Yeah. That. As soon as I said that, he went on your computer. He logged in. He got on Twitter. He texted me on the side. He goes, "What do you want me to delete?" I'm like, "One, two, get to work." Dude. Boop boop. Watch him disappear. I right was there. asleep because in my head it was all over. I had slept like two hours prior. Well, and it was all over too. But here's what you don't realize: is in the time that you drove from the airport to the cell, I had already contacted the commissioner, the mayor of the city. Do you understand what I'm saying? I was like. I dropped everything. I was like, I have to save him right now or like it gets too hard again. Like I can't let it get far from me. I dropped everything. I called our boys. He called his boys. We can't say their names. You can say it after with his whatever, but like right now, don't say it. Called his boys. No, called I'll shout him out. He wants, uh, he took care of me. Yeah. And I will shout him out after, okay. after. When we get to that point, keep okay, telling cool. the story. So I'm on a call with him, these three guys from Haiti, and we're on a FaceTime for eight hours straight. From the moment you mentioned I'm getting kidnapped again to this, I got in touch with the commissioner. I found out exactly where you were. I found out I got in touch with the mayor. I got in touch with everyone. Here's the problem. Gabe's sitting next to me. He's watching this. No one wants to save you. Because of the video I posted. Because of the video you posted. You were the fucking most hated man in Haiti. And, bro, I'm watching the views, and it's just climbing. 600,000, 800,000. I refresh 1.2 million. I refresh 2 million. I'm like... Oh my God. And bro, they're like, no one, wa they're like, LeBlanc. I hear it on the phone, LeBlanc. Puh! <laughs> bro, no one wanted, no one wanted to touch you. They wanted you to I suffer. I understand. They're like, how dare he spit I on our country. I understand, but in my perspective, I'm getting set up by no, police bro, I again. I get your perspective. And I'm fucking dead. Get, I'm, I've agreed in my head, I might die. Your perspective today. makes sense. You're like, this is my lifeline of this, this, I'm, I'm not a lie. I'm not, uh, I'm not out. They got me again. Like, this is a shithole. It's the situation. last communication I have with the world. I get it, I get it. From my perspective, it was burning everything. So we deleted your tweets. This is going to suck for the world that loves you for it to hear. And then your PR team, Eddie Maloof, <laughs> as I sat next to Gabe, literally on the beanbag outside this door. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, what do I type? And I'm like, how's that sound? How's that sound? I'm like, this is good. We need a balance of like, there's a reason why I'm not going to take it back. You no, know, you did good. I'm going to give a very a, good message. I'm going to give a reason. I'm like, we're playing it all. And then I sent it over to him. He's like, you want me to post this? I'm like, post it. It's a message that I agree with though. The message you posted, I didn't give I agree a with. fuck if you agreed or not. I was just like 30 minutes after we wait for it to catch some steam. It gets like 600 views, 600,000, 800,000. Then like the TikTok accounts in Haiti start picking it up. He calls the guy again. Same guy that like spit on you. Calls him again. He's like, hey, bro. Did you see the new thing he tweeted? He's like, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's nice. I like this guy. Okay. And then all of a sudden, 15-minute phone call. We're like, he's like helping us trying to figure it out. Who's the judge on the case? Like, like we're we're deep. We're like in paperwork at this point. You know what I mean? I'm like. Yeah, the fucking car guy shows up with his lawyer. Yeah. I'm in a room with a commissioner who doesn't speak a lick of English, and I'm trying to communicate with him. He goes, oh. But my guys are talking. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. After six hours until he finally trusted me, it's nighttime by now. It's 9 p.m. He starts speaking with me fluent English. Stop it. You're lying. You're lying. He goes, when I came to your country, you made me speak English. You're in Haiti, buddy. Creole. You speak Creole? I'm like trying to speak to him. A telephone, mon ami. You know, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so I'm working this to get you out, and I have. I've talked to the judge, our boy, but he, 
I'm telling you, he was on a 10 hour FaceTime call. We got off at 1.30 at night. He went to sleep at 7.30. We're texting again. Like, and you're like. Yeah, I got journalists coming to my police station. They know my exact. I go, how did you know I was here? They go, we know you're, everybody in the country knows you're here. I go, fuck. I'm in the hands of police officers right now. What if they're corrupt? Yeah, yeah. Everyone knows I'm here. I'm like begging this This could this easily lead to the worst I'm situation. I'm begging this commissioner. Are you sure I'm safe? Are you? He goes, buddy, La Mont saint -Jou, the guy who kidnapped you, he come here, he die. We kill. This is Cap Haitian. This area is safe. He come here, buddy. No gangs. Dead. <laughs> I'm like, okay, like, <laughs> Makes maybe you feel he's good, you know, it, yeah. maybe he's good. <laughs> And then I slept with them in the barracks. They took my phones. They said no filming in here because it's a safety hazard. They I slept just, with them. They were just scared of you filming shit. Yeah, no, right no next. No one wanted to be associated. Right with next, right next to their weapons. I slept with them in the barracks. They gave me one of their beds. Slept with them. Woke up the next morning. They're all asking me questions about the kidnapping. Like, oh, it wasn't fake. I was like, what do you mean it wasn't fake? I'm here. The fucking. That's like the, the kidnapper so, made a video said it was fake. I'm like, that's who you believed. Think about it, bro. The kidnapper. So I, I then. We had a way to get money to them, to to. So I paid I paid your car guy through Zelle. Yeah. I zelled someone else who brought cash to the car right. guy. Right. And then car guy gets his money. He's upset. The video of us shaking hands with the judge. He's so upset. Oh, I can't wait till you guys see it. Why? Because he wanted to extort me for ten, twenty k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, if we he had just accepted the four and my, a half. Our boy handled it. Yeah, I know. He personally called. Shout him out and was to like, our boy. We're not gonna fucking. We're not paying a lick over this. Yeah. Take it or leave it. And we're yeah. like, it's getting done tonight. Yeah. And what happened was the police was there who was the head, and he saw the verbal handshake on the phone that they agreed to. And he said, cool, if you come tonight, we'll give you the money. We'll sign the paperwork. We'll he get was ignoring. you out. He's like, deal. We have a deal. I'll be there soon. And he doesn't show up. And the then the fucking liar extorter. He was trying exactly. to kidnap me twice. Then, I was kidnapped twice. Then the police who's in charge tells our boy, he says, listen, Sometimes shit happens. This guy might show up, but I saw him agree to it, and I know it's a fair deal. If he's not here by, like, 10 a.m. in the morning, we're just going to let him go with no money. Judge is already signed on the paperwork. And then what happened was, this is where I started freaking out again. I'm like, kill me, bro. I'm, I'm, between, I'm still working, by the way. So know, I'm, like, I'm between calls. Some of this is actually recorded on, like, Google Meets because I'd be on a call with someone. I'd be like, sorry, you got to go, and i kick him out and just start recording on my computer. I'm like, this is what's going down. You know what I mean? Um, but these guys told me not to record anything. So I didn't record any of this. Right. Right. This is all yeah. just like, yeah, yeah. Cause they're like, I don't want my name on this. Don't put my course. face. But now they do. Cause now he agrees. Well, yeah. Cause before you're the shithead kid that everyone hates. He's like, Look, I don't I'll come back name. to Haiti. Haiti is a beautiful country. I'll say this right now. No one's holding me hostage. Where's the gun? Bro, put the guns down. Put the guns down guys. It's uh, cool. Haiti is a beautiful country. And guns it, away, it, guns away. I went in there to see if barbecue <laughs> could actually fix the corruption. Cause it's full of corruption because it has one metal that is only available in two countries in the world, South Africa and Haiti, it's called Iradium. And all these countries want it, USA, France, etc. So much corruption led to the downfall of the country. I came in to see if this barbecue guy could actually save the country. He's a very well-spoken guy. After getting kidnapped and seeing how savage all these gang leaders are, there's no way that guy's fixing the country. There is 0% chance barbecue is fixing the country. The country, it might become better, it will never be fully fixed because it is so rich in resources. It's like the Congo. The Congo is the richest country in the world. Completely fucked because that's how it works. That's how the world works. The country can be fixed to a certain extent with imperialism. The U.S. has to take over or a country has to take over, but there is no coming. There's no way the country is ruling itself. I've, I saw it with my own eyes. I saw a zombie apocalypse. Anyways, continue. Judge, I call in the morning. I'm, on calls. I'm friends with the SDPG guys now. Yeah. On my way out. And their leader is our boy. Okay, nice. So we're like on the call with the leader. Easy. He's like, oh, you're, he's good. I'll get him out in the first thing in the morning. Yeah, I slept with them. I had a blast with them, laughed with them in their barracks. And then morning I get taken to this courthouse. Judge asking what's up. And then he cusses the guy out with the car rental company because he saw the airport video. They didn't send the airport video to anyone. If that airport video comes out, I swear to you it embarrasses the country. 25 guys pinned me in a fucking corner by myself. I was going to film it, but I was with a U.S. Army guy. I didn't want to get him in it, so yeah, I decided yeah. not to. I was trying to talk my way out of it. 
they didn't let that video leak anywhere, the airport security footage. Because if they leak that video, you will see how hard these guys tried to extort me. The judge yelled at the guy. And then we shook hands. 15 journalists waiting outside for me. I told them, hey, I love Haiti. Haiti is a beautiful country. I've seen the beautiful side. Just haven't gotten to speak about it because of my experience. I'm done. On my way out, some dude cussed me out. And then got driven to safety. To the when, I went, when I went back to the airport the next day, to actually catch my flight, those car guys were looking at me with blood. God bless Aviva Entertainment. Aviva, A-V-I-V-V-A, is the company that insured my safety, okay? They didn't ask me to do this. It's the company that insured my safety, okay? They said, okay, yeah, this guy has had a bad experience in Haiti. We wanna show him the good side, okay? If you ever go to Haiti and you want to see the good side, these guys will rent you buggies. They'll show you the entire good side and they'll keep you safe. These guys gave me private security, okay? They sent guys with guns to protect me. They sent me they sent me dune buggies to take me to the airport and they let me drive them on the way too. I'm, I promise you this guy didn't ask me for anything. This guy took care of me and, and, and assisted my brother from the kindness of his heart, okay? Um... Because everybody was against me in the country. And he said, nah, this is not how it should be. This guy should be shown, shown the good side. He sent me those buggies. He took care of me. His security that he hired me escorted me all the way until I was in the hands of the FBI. And then they went on their way. I just want to say thank you to Aviva. Uh, Aviva Entertainment, Aviva UT, I think, is their, is their company. And uh, Fred Joseph. I'm going to say his name because he said I could. Fred Joseph, uh, in a time where I felt like everybody was against me, he stepped in and he said, listen, man, we're not all like this. There's many good people in Haiti, and I want to show you that. And so shout out to him. If you do want to go to Haiti, because not all of Haiti is bad. Right now you shouldn't travel to it, but when it opens, it is really a beautiful island. You message them. You message Aviva. Just search up Aviva Haiti. You'll see it. It's a company with buggies. Message them. I, they will take care of you. These guys are are very well connected in Haiti and they will take care of you and show you a good time without any danger. And then you got to the airport. I get to the airport. You wait six hours for this fucking flight to leave and you get out and then what happens though before? Like I, get to, gotta, I get to U.S. You, soil. You get to U.S. soil. I'm like, thank God he's in Miami. I get taken into an FBI interrogation room. Uh, they pretend like it's a random selection. I'm not allowed a lawyer. When you travel internationally, you're not allowed a lawyer. They search all my bags. They grab all my phones. I had three phones. One phone negotiation, which I was going to hand over anyway. The negotiator had bought a new phone for the negotiations. And my two phones, and they make me unlock it, and they take it, and I still don't have my phones up until, like, tomorrow. I think they shipped it back. I called the guy. He said they shipped it back yet today. Doubt it. No, I think so. Yeah? I think I'll get it back tomorrow. They downloaded all my data. So if you've texted me nudes, your picture, your ass, FBI's got it. Tough. That's the real reason they wanted it. <laughs> Imagine these guys are like downloading images. They're just getting <laughs> hundreds of images. <laughs> so, so that's it. That's now you're fun. here. I mean, not here. And, and the fact that we faked this all is so crazy. That Stop even scary. joking, bro. <laughs> People don't understand your sarcasm. <laughs> it's it's it. go ahead. Your brother has autistic levels of uh, like sarcasm. It's just how I am. It's why people watch me. Yeah. Anyways, we went through. We hell. should take questions. We should take questions from the comments. Sure, we can we can do some questions from the comments. How many people are watching? Six. Six K. All right. Feel free to ask what you want. If you want your message to be read, super chat it. Make some of the ransom back. Oh, is that what super chat is? Yeah, they, they pay, pay money. Oh, yeah. that's cool. We yes. Some few, a few donations from a Texas guy talking about the mosque is not his local. The mosque is like twenty minutes away. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. This is a crazy story, though. I'll tell you, uh, our family's in shambles. My wife uh, hates you for the rest of her life. Probably she hugged me yesterday. And probably get three months. Got her energy out. Yeah. Get three months. I give her probably oh, a month and a half. To be honest, that, a couple. And weeks. once your baby's hug. born, once your baby's born, her couple mind's weeks. on something else. Yo, that, that hug I Loki said it too. Uh, it was the longest I have ever seen. Who? It was. It was My girl. The hug? Yeah, the hug. It was, it was longer than you and mom. I was like, and like, I saw tears coming down her face, and I, I started tearing up. I was 
like I was like, oh, good thing I was in there. How, how Can you talk more about the game being afraid of the rain? It's like some satanic shit. The rain weakens them. It genuinely, we the, these guys have superpowers. You don't have to believe me, but what I saw with my own eyes. These guys, when they fight police officers, Haitian police officers will tell you they have superpowers. You guys know, just like in Hollywood, how people sell their souls for fame. In Haiti, people sell their souls for superpowers. Bullets bounce off of them. Blood comes out of their mouth when they get shot, and if they lose enough blood, they'll die, but you gotta empty like three clips into them or a grenade. You this serious, guy, bro? I swear. I don't wanna say I saw it with my own eyes, but this guy walks up to me, shows me a bullet wound in his heart. It's a dent. He shows me a bullet wound in the back of his head, and he grabs this cloth from his pocket, and he kisses it. He goes, it's protecting me. They have this cloth that they, Satan has blessed. I believe in God. I, whether you're an atheist or not, I believe in God. So I believe that you can also sell your soul to Satan. These guys have sold their souls to Satan for superpowers. You ask military in there, they'll tell you. They'll empty full clips into people. They just walk off. Anyways, let's That's, read these comments. I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it. Yeah, Jack 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 sounds like that beer down there working real good. Will you still visit dangerous places? I promise my family, no more hoods, no more gangs. Okay, and I'm definitely taking a break for... We've shredded his passport. I've taken a break for six months. I'm taking a break for six months for sure. I want to go explore the beautiful side of Europe, those kind of countries, maybe some Asia. But uh, in terms of gangs, especially darker gangs... Guys, come on, I got kidnapped for being white. I'm allowed to say this. Especially darker places in the world I'm taking a break from for a while. Um, I still I still want to see the whole world, so I will go to every country eventually, but that doesn't mean I will actively hunt the dangerous areas in that country. Some countries are already dangerous enough for when you go, but for the next six months, look, the next three months of videos are already recorded, so there's more hood shit coming out because I recorded hood shit already. I went into the most dangerous hoods in many Caribbean countries. So you, you'll get those videos, but there will be a change, okay? There will be a change. A good change. You guys will see. It's just an evolution. And you got to understand it, guys. My family went through so much. I was kidnapped, you know? Like, most people don't make it out of that, especially untouched. So glory be to God. Uh, ask questions, guys. Don't. What foods do they give you to eat? Inside, I ate... So there was that the deli sandwiches pizza, that we got. But, pizza, you got a pizza. Oh, he did get all oh, pizza. You don't. You gotta hear this story. Pizza day five. The king brings us pizza. Okay. That translator M knew we had pizza, right? I said we were using it as currency. He comes up to us like day six, seven. He goes, "You guys got any pizza?" At like eleven p.m. And he's looking at the gate at the king's house, making sure he's not looking at us because they're not allowed to be begging. Oh, us the king's for house food. is right there. Yeah, they're oh. not allowed to be begging us for food. We gangster, bro. No, no, no. This is the best one of them all. Okay. <laughs> he walks up to us up to the gate and he goes, uh, you guys got a pizza? We're like, yeah, we got some. Can I get some? Speak up, speak up. He's like, can I get some? Like, yeah. We get him two slices. We get him, we get him. Sorry. It's not that kind of hard. Sorry. He, 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 we give him two slices. He grabs him. He, he looks over at the king, make sure he's not looking first. He grabs him, puts him in his pants. You're lying. Not his pants, under his boxer. You're lying, you're lying. And he looks back at us, and he goes, that's how gangster do, homie. And he walks off. Stop it. Dog. <laughs> Dog, I wish, I swear, wallahi, I wish it was on camera. Sean and I die laughing the whole time <laughs> because that's the exact opposite of gangster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, you're afraid of the king. You're so scared you're putting it in your balls. You put it on your balls, bro. Okay, let's read these super chats. Let's read these super chats. Super chat one. Overall, the time go by so, super slow while you were there. No, it went so fast. I just worked out all day, every day. I lost 15 pounds. Um, and I prayed. Time went by the fastest it's ever gone in my life because you have no... Com you have no way to speak to the outside world you just look at the sun and the same three plants and you know you work out love you Abby. what's the next prank gonna be <laughs> nice do you shower in haiti i showered every day yeah you saw any demonic rituals just like the voodoo dances they did and the thing in front of us was a demonic ritual um 
Did you get raped? Just twice, but I liked it. I had to act friendly, so I'm kidding. <laughs> Look, you're joking about, like, your mom thinks. Mom, guys, my mom, when I got home. She, yesterday, she was like, do you think they did something to him? I'm like, no, he's fine. She's like, you think they, like, did something mom to Mom thinks him? I won't admit to her. Like, she thinks they actually raped yeah, me. Yeah, that's what she thinks to me, Yeah, too. she yeah. thinks she's I'm like, hiding. She's, like, trying to get me to, like, confess that they raped you. <laughs> I'm like, did they make you try to sell your soul? Now they didn't. The power of God actually protected us. It was weakening the king. Uh, sh that's what Sean said. He knows more about Haitians than I do, but our, our prayer was genuinely weakening the guy. After the first few days, he couldn't come and see us and look us in the eyes. It's like he felt bad. It's like all the prayer that we did. So anybody who prayed while we were inside, thank you. Thank you. How are you today? Good. Good. Finally. Bro, joking almost died. Being positive is the only reason I was unharmed. Like, joking with them, not being afraid, treating them humanely, that's why we were unharmed. Yeah, which I think is, let me talk on that. This is an important lesson because, um, uh, like, so many hate comments online, too, are just, like, why, like, not even towards you. Like, even when I was, like, hey, we recorded it all. Like, we'll have this. Give us some time, whatever. They're, like, why the fuck would you ever record it? Like, people don't understand, like, my, my sobbing and sadness is not going to get you out. It's not. It, comes it, after. it has no relevance. It doesn't even to the, need to come after. Why it, would it come after? Yeah. Because like, even I was getting texts. I was like, people were like, dude, this is fake. You're too. You're like laughing about it. I was like, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fucking cry until I hear that he's dead. That's yeah. Like, like what a. Yeah. Like, exactly. Until I hear that news, what the fuck's crying gonna do? Like, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And solves nothing. Solves nothing. It actually creates problems. So so, people need to understand that in situations like this, like you need to treat it like that because. All these emotions don't help. If it doesn't help, then you need to get rid of it in the situation. And that's why we were able to film. That's why we were, we were so clear in thinking when we were doing this because we didn't let weakness and emotions get in the way of it, you know? I think it's an important thing for people to understand because all these people online can't even comprehend that. Like, it has to be fake if you don't care. I'm if like, you're not tortured and, and dead and you don't care, like, it's got to be... It's like they want you to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, uh, you Muslims are a different breed. We're Catholic, first of all. We're Catholic. Um, second of all, can I get a glory be to God spam in the chat? Because when you're there, I promise you. So his not. next career is being a priest, if you guys can't tell yet. <laughs> He's, uh, Any baddies? I, I don't think I got hard once in Haiti. Yeah. It's pretty hard when you're kidnapped in a room with 20 dudes. Not have guns pointed bro, at bro, you. <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, like, our side was a movie, bro. Like, I know yours was, but, like, Gabe would come over to my house in like four or five hours straight. I was with Eddie every day. Honestly, and I've never seen such stress and crazy conversations. Lord happen. be to God. Multiple mercenary groups contacted. I felt like I was in a movie. And I see why Chad could possibly think it was fake. I'll say it's like timing, but but it's definitely legit. And it was the craziest shit I've ever experienced. And that was just me seeing about 10% of it. Product of Cook, thanks for the $5 dono. I appreciate that message, bro. Shawnee, would you ever make a game about all these trips? I might make a movie, recreate the the story from a like movie perspective. That could be cool because I'm telling you guys, what I saw with my eyes that I couldn't film when we were in Croix de Bouquet was a zombie apocalypse. It was black and white. There was no other color. It was white desert road, and it was people holding shotguns, walking around, uh, even in the middle of a market, just... Gangsters holding shotguns, roads completely destroyed. It was it was pure zombie apocalypse, what I saw with my eyes. That country is unfixable by the gangs. 100% barbecue cannot fix that country. Well, wow. Damn, I'm Haitian you, and you my, my super fixed. chat. It, Fuck, I'm so glad it must have been during over. the video. Oh yeah, my over, God, huh? thank God, bro. I'd wake up at night. Did like... you talk to barbecue on the phone? When we got out, barbecue called us on the phone. The same day we got out, barbecue called us on the phone. He called Sean because he had his number, and he said, I want you guys to come visit me. Today's my birthday. We bought him a cake. Uh, we were going to visit. He was going to send us a police car to take us in safely. We were still going to do it. I didn't tell anybody but my brother. This is how much of an idiot this man is. Like, he literally just gets out, and he's like, let me get in another cop car and go see this guy. You I said he saved us. Yeah, but I don't give a fuck. I said I have a connection that could just literally do it for you directly. Why are you going to risk this? Dude, as soon as you were out, I was like, get him the fuck out of the country as quickly as Maybe possible. Maybe that interview is over Zoom. It would have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it yeah, will yeah, be. Yeah, it yeah. Would, <laughs> but, 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 but it would have been such a good ending to the story. I don't know, bro. It and T, uh, our negotiator said, I think this is a good play. Yeah, I don't know. 
He knows Haiti better than we do. Yeah, I know the world. That's what I'm looking at. I'm not looking at Haiti anymore. I'm just trying to get your. So we were about to go, out. and then he couldn't secure a cop car, and he said, "Still come," and we couldn't secure 100% safe passage, so we voted against it. What did you respect the most about the gangs? Fuck them. Glory be to God. What are your thoughts on Brazil, the best country in the world? Brazil. This guy. He's Brazilian. Right? Fucking beautiful. El so you guys are so biased. El muito gosto Brazil. Las mulheres uh, muito linda. Mm. So what, how, how are you going to release this? How's the footage actually going to come out? We've well, so you said you want to sell it to Netflix. No, no, no. I'll let you do uh, it. Three episodes then. One trailer on Sunday. Oh, you guys will see a trailer on Sunday. It's already three in the works. might be a four, bro. This last one is its own episode. Yeah, that's the third. That should be a There's four. the first, which is pre pre kidnapping. There's the kidnapping, then there's the post kidnapping. Bro, the kidnapping is three eight, three. Ep- I don't think you understand. It's one episode. You can't do three. People will get bored of it. Trust bro, me. I'm a YouTuber. I know it's what. gotta be, bro. My wife uploaded sixty five hours of footage yesterday. For what? I need three clips. I need them saying I know, cool I'm things. I'm just telling you how much. We're gangster, homie. That's what I need. Nah, you know, nah, like, there's some there's some shit that was happening behind the scenes that you don't have. Maybe, maybe like shit on phone calls that they're like. We're, t- Bro, we're talking about like parachuting in and shooting the place up. Like, you guys, if, through, like, the voice message. if you yeah, super yeah, chatted message, while right. we were speaking, we don't see it. It's already gone. You should have you should have donated more. Sorry, it would have lasted longer. <laughs> is that is that how it works? Yeah. All right, yeah. so I, I gotta go soon. So let's let's conclude. Calling this, this live. We're ending now. There's gonna be a trailer on Sunday. Shout out to my brother, Bad Marketing, who supposedly because of his name, people think he faked this entire thing as a marketing. I'll stunt. take that as respect too. You know. Yeah. Right. That is kind of respectful. Oh, another donation. Canadian, twenty dollars Canadian. Coming to Pakistan, bro. I have government connects there. Got you with security trucks and armed guards. Did you hear anything we just said, my guy? <laughs> Message me on Instagram. Kick this guy. Block this guy for life on all platforms. <laughs> I. I'll see you guys Sunday. And if you want to chat, go to Arab Uncut on Twitter. The the Twitter community. That's where I'll be reading. Or if you're subscribed to ArabUncut.com, there's a secret Discord. If you go to your account, you can connect it. And that's where I message everybody first because those are my most loyal supporters. So shout out to you guys. Me personally, I would have taken over day one. Much love, bro. Alhamdulillah. Thank you guys. All right, we should end now. Taking over day one, what do you mean? I don't know. Like you became the gang leader. Like, yeah, but you became the gang leader. Yeah, good luck, bro. You would have folded like a lawn chair. Johnny Bravo. Cool. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you guys got a good story out of this. Excited bro, to see you. That was the best fake kidnapping marketing Shh, scheme bro, ever. Bro, bro, let's wait till the stream ends. Oh, it's still on? Yeah, bro. End the stream, end the stream, end the stream, end the stream.